Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the stream. Let me just ping the Discord here. We're going live on Twitch right now. Come join us. <laughs> hello, welcome, welcome. Today we are going back to Strange Town Saturday. I hope you guys are all ready to play some Strange Town because I am. We haven't been there in a while. Hello, guys. Hello, so I'm just getting Strange Town pulled up here. Um, and we are on the Beaker household. The Beakers. And now I don't know how much time we have left in the Beaker household. It could be a lot, it could be a little. I don't remember, but I know that we're in the Beaker household. And we have got two children in the Beaker household. We have at little Adam and little Ceres. Yes, we do. And I also have written down that they tried for baby again. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> That could be old. That could be old information. That could be old news, but I have it on the spreadsheet. So we gotta keep an eye out for that. <laughs> You've never played Strange Town? Oh, it's so much fun. I love Strange Town. It's my second favorite after Pleasant View, of course, but it's awesome. It's got a lot of a lot of weird stuff going on in there. So I've, I have some ideas for the Beaker household because now that Nervous has escaped, they really need a new test subject in that house. And I'm thinking that Bella Goth is the one that Cersei has her eyes on. Aw, thank you so much, uh, Miss Cannabis OKC. <laughs> I'm so glad I could help you with your depression. I'm really glad to hear that. Thank you. And thank you so much for the Prime sub, True Mama. Thank you very much. Oh, I gotta hydrate already. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vex Sims, for continuing your gift sub from Evelyn. Thank you very much. Um, and I also have a beg for gift sub from Tanny O Sims, if anybody out there feels generous this morning. We're playing Sims 2, baby. Oh no, I forgot to update. Oh, I didn't update the stream, did I? Aw, oh, crap. It still says Sims 3. I'm playing Sims 2. I'm playing Sims 2. Darn it. Sorry, guys. Uh, let me go update the stream. No, I don't want to watch myself. Let me go update the stream information. When you feel you're slow, when when these we always serve it right away. Have a smile and have a nice day. It still says Sims 3 on there. I'm so sorry. Strange Town Saturday is what we're playing. Strange Town Saturday. Um, so that, ju that just sent out notifications to everybody saying that we were playing uh, Sims 3. Darn it! Ugh! I make a checklist for myself and then I don't follow it. Um, thank you so much for the two month prime sub, whoa, Hannah. Why is it not responding? I will wait for the program to respond. Uh, thank you so much for the tier one sub, God Warden. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, spider rolled three. Thank you very much. Now it's freezing up on me, y'all. Now it won't let me change it. <laughs> now it won't let me change it. Ah! Uh, I got a shout out from Ravenclaw. Owen to 113 right way for being like the Sims 4 pretty but lacks functionality and logic. That is the truth. Thank you so much for giving out a gift sub. Um, Zoe Alice in Wonderland. Thank you for giving a gift sub to Annie Nix. I hope I'm not missing anybody here. Uh, thank you so much for the seven months at tier one. Shauna, Shauna Kane, 99, thank you so much. Thank you for the prime sub, Joha, Joa Zock, T22, thank you. And, oh my God, Alterius, thank you so much for giving out 10 freaking gift subs. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. How many, let me see who you gave gift subs to. Jeez Louise. Uh, bad, bad, uh, Amity, Amtis? I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry, but the <laughs> Lifetime Wish, a Smug toma Tomato, Zora, Zorothos, Derpy P, uh, Cryptic Clairvoyant, Drano for short, Pastel Fu Fuchsia, Fu no, Fuchs. I can't read. I'm sorry. Uh, Jessica's my V and Lucas Ritter. Thank you so much, Alterius, for all of those gift subs. I can't keep up with you guys. It won't let me update the stream info. It looks like
looks like we're playing Sims 3 over here and I swear we're not. I swear we're not. I just got my coffee delivered. <laughs> uh, and thank you so much for the four month prime sub Miggy's Musing. Thank you for the prime sub Soft Ducky. Thank you for the 100 bits Zoe Alice in Wonderland. Thank you for giving out a gift sub Ceramic Shenanigans to Claudia De Debbie. And thank you for the five months at tier one, Naomi. Thank you guys so much. I know what service, what service? Okay, um, let me try to update the stream info again. I, it just kept freezing and saying like, do you wanna wait on the program to respond or close the program? I hate it when it does that. So let me go back and try again. No, I just wanna update my stream info. <laughs> That's all I wanna do. Um, let's see. Sims 2, Strange Town Saturday. It's a Strange Town Saturday. Strange Town Saturday. I don't know why I'm changing the live notification that's already been sent out. Um. Okay, done, done. There we are. We're all good, we're all good. Good morning, everybody. Um. And okay, so for the pink soup, I have, uninstalled the latest windows update so cross your fingers and toes and cross your nuts that it worked this is this is going to be the experiment stream we're going to find out are we going to get pink soup or not i hope not i hope not <laughs> and i got another bag for gifts up from cersei beaker if anybody feels generous in the chat cersei wants a gift sub we're about to play cersei give her a gift sub and i also had another bag for gift sub that i don't know if it got fulfilled uh somewhere somewhere oh tanny tanny o sims we need a pink soup prediction <laughs> cross your flaps cross your flaps okay so here we go i'm about to bring you guys over to the game now we're getting ready uh thank you so much uh for gifting us up to cersei beaker all serious thank you very much and we got a beg for gifts up from foo moves too all right, here we go. Yay, I'm glad you're looking forward to my new YouTube channel. I am too, I am too. And I hope to get it up this coming week for you guys. Okay, you can't see the game for some reason. <laughs> Hold on one second. It's still in Sims 4 selected. There you are, there you go. Hype train level five, all right. Oh, thank you so much for gift gifting a sub to Fumu's Naomi. And thank you so much for the nine months at tier one, Reed. Thank you so much. <laughs> if it doesn't work, just throw the whole computer out the window. Exactly. That's what we'll do. That's a good plan. Okay, where the hell are the beakers? Okay, here they are. <laughs> We're going to the beakers. Let's load it up. So we got, we've got we got pink-headed Cersei. She's just a pink blob. <laughs> we've got Loki. And we've got little Adam, who is now a child. And then we've got little toddler series now they it's possible they did try for another child anyway i got big plans for this family y'all so we're gonna have to do something a little out of the norm for the beaker family in order to get them another test subject because it's not like they're gonna roll once for a test subject right we have to make this we have to make this happen on our own you know to keep the story going to keep the story flowing <laughs> So we got to get Cersei to get out there. She's going to kidnap Bella. We're going to make it happen. She's going to go out. She's going to meet Bella. She's going to befriend her. She's going to butter those biscuits. She's going to call Bella up and invite her over to the house. And then Bella will never be seen again. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Um, and the reason why they want Bella is because, well, for one thing, she can breed. Okay, that's getting a little weird. That's getting a little dark, Cindy. That's getting a little weird. That's unacceptable, Cindy. <laughs> For another thing, she had she was abducted by aliens and then her memory was wiped. So they want to do experiments on her to see what the hell happened. How was was her memory wiped? Can they get that technology to wipe other people's memories? Who knows? Who knows? She'll, she'll breed with somebody. Maybe she'll make some alien babies. I don't know. For them to experiment on. <laughs> She's not going to breed with Loki. Cersei would never have that. Cersei would never have that. I'm, I'm out here on some Handmaid's Tale level stuff. That's right. <laughs> 
She's got no ties. Nobody's going to look for her. Nobody knows her. Nobody's going to know she's missing. She does have an apartment right now, but the landlord's just going to think she split town. Right? Nobody's really going to come looking for her. Okay, so... Let me see. I'm trying to hover over this. Okay, we have like three days, or actually two days left with them to make this happen. And I just want to check on everybody, see what's going down here. <laughs> see what's up. Uh, she wants to stay home from work. Of course she does, because we have a stupid pleasure secondary aspiration. Oh my god. Um, so we've got Loki here. He just wants to, he's a secondary family. So he wants to potty train and teach to talk and teach to walk. I will lock in potty train for him. Now, of course, he work, he's in, an inventor. He works on the science career. He really needs to work on that cleaning skill, man. He's got to get some cleaning going on. And let's see. Cersei here. Uh, she doesn't have much going on, really. She wants to go on a... Ask on a date. Oh, that's so terrible in every way. <laughs> that's so awful in every way. Um, what am I looking for? Yeah, she's a secondary pleasure. Can't I... I'm pretty sure I can reset this. Uh, thank you so much for the brand new tier one sub, Bray Sky. Thank you very much. Oh, I got a hydrate over there. Hi uh, hydrate for Joe. Hype train complete at level five. Your community contributed a total of 26 sub gifts and 300 bits. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate that. Got a shout out from Pink, uh, Pink to Gru. <laughs> shout out to Cindy. You're awesome. Thank you for your content. Thank you so much for your shout out. And then thank you, uh, everybody. I got nothing else. <laughs> I hate pleasure aspiration too. So I think you can use, you can do it with Sim Blender. I didn't think you could do it with Sim Blender, can you? I thought you had to use the aspiration reward. What do you do? Traits? What do you do it under? Aspiration, maybe? Want oh aspiration change isn't that gonna change her main aspiration though? It works, Kira, if you just choose aspiration, just regular aspiration. Um I'm worried about this. I'm worried about this. Uh, thank you so much for the tier one sub Morgan B96. Thank you so much. But it, it resets the secondary though. Okay, I'll try it. I'll try it. Oh, she's asleep. We have to wait till she wakes up. <laughs> we have to wait till she wakes up. It'll reset secondary if you select fortune. Okay, I didn't know that. Thank you guys. Well, we haven't done anything yet, so if it did, if things did go wrong, I could just reload. I hate secondary pleasure. I hate it. I hate pleasure aspiration in all ways. Oh my god, that coffee is strong. Good god. Woo. That is strong. That's like that's like triple strength coffee. I don't know what um uh, Mr. Pleasant's trying to do to me there. Trying to keep me up all day. <laughs> uh, we'll find out here. We'll reset. We'll reset her fortune and then see if it resets the points here. I am a pleasure aspiration in real life. Like, I would consider myself pleasure aspiration. Really gets you going. Wants you up when you feel you're slow. When, when these, we always pleasure <laughs> you guys know what i mean you know what i mean <laughs> that song comes from the hot drinks wendy's uh the hot drinks wendy's training video that's what i was trying to say oh and i want to check in on little adam too we'll watch it again if you get, we haven't watched it in a long time on the channel we'll watch it again today uh, thank you so much for the eight months at tier one, Isabel. 
Also, I have got something. I got a video to show you guys when we get a commercial break. It is hilarious. I got something special for you. Um, I like hot coffee better, but I like iced coffee too. I wouldn't want to play myself as a sim either. Um, so here is little Sari. Wait, come here, you. Come here, where'd you go? Here's little Sari's, and I wanted to check on her age. Um, I don't know where I'm going. Three days, so we're not going to see her become a child. And I believe that Adam just recently became a child. Six days. So we, we're not going to have any ages age ups there, but it's possible Cersei is knocked up again. It's possible. Oh, to be a toddler craw crawling on the concrete. She needs to go to the potty. We're going to wake up. What's his face here? He's almost fully rested. Wake up at 5.18 a.m. and take your child to the potty. To the potty chair. Where the hell's the potty chair? It's over here. This house is so weird. Oh, no. She just drank the rotten bottle, y'all. <sighs> I prefer the hot drinks. I do. I do. But I do like iced coffee, though. It's good. No, Loki's the father. Loki's the father of these children. Yeah, he's the father. He loves these kids because he's a secondary family. For tea, I like both. Uh, I, well, I like hot. I drink hot herbal tea, but I like cold black tea. Okay, here we go. We're going to choose fortune again. And let's see if that resets it now that she's awake. I believe you guys. You guys said it did. So, yes, it did. Okay, so she's not getting a secondary. We're just going to give her... We're going to give her life of luxury. I think she would have the work tree. Life of luxury and business instinct. That's what we're going to give her. <laughs> Cold and black, just like my soul. Just like my heart. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hate the pleasure aspiration. I really do. Yeah, I drink black tea cold. Ice, like iced. Iced tea. But I drink my... I, every day I drink spearmint tea. I drink it hot. I like it hot. Okay, you almost potty trained the kid. Not quite, though, but we're getting there. We're getting there. So both of them want to stargaze with telescope, and I'm going to keep that locked in because I wouldn't mind having a little alien baby in this household. Ceres has gained a point of logic skill. Oh, good for her. Good for her. And uh, I want to see if do they have to go to work today. No, this is the perfect day for her to go out hunting for his subject. <laughs> She's going to go out hunting for a subject as soon as it get li gets light outside. And by the way, if you're wondering... If little Adam looks like his dad, oh yeah, he does. He does. He's gonna be a weird looking sim. You just had your baby, your third baby three days ago? Oh my God, Bray. <laughs> Congratulations to you. <laughs> You're hiding from your kids in the bathroom to watch this stream peacefully. You need some peace now. <laughs> Yeah, toddlers are... I like toddlers in The Sims 2 as well. Okay, come here, Adam. I want to I want to look at you. I want to get a look at your face while you're in the bathtub, I guess. Let's get a close-up of this face. Just in case you didn't remember, um, he, he really does... You can kind of see it. Come here. I don't want to be inside your face. Look up. Look up, child. Okay, we can't see him very well. <laughs> but you can kind of see. He looks like his dad. He's got that nose... It's gonna be he's gonna be inter an interesting sim he's gonna be very interesting um oh okay uh let's see thank you so much for the six months in advance at tier one tiggy dimples thank you so much no i haven't been vaccinated yet i got a shout out from jen to cindy for having the courage to pour her heart heart out to us you inspire me to be more true to myself thank you oh thank you that's very nice of you to say jen and uh, thank you for the seven months at tier one, Miss Penguin. Okay, let's see if Cersei is ready to go. Let's just take care of her needs here. Let's get her a little bite to eat. To get some leftovers. Go to the bathroom. Loki's... Oh, crap. Loki's got to go to work today. Eat that. I think that's bread. Um... 
<laughs> Every time they have children in your game, the kids are at least 90% Loki. Yeah. His genes are strong. He's got very strong features, we'll say. But I really like that because, you know, sometimes I want my Sims to have different looks to them. I feel like it can get real muddy where everybody starts to look the same. So I like those strong features. <laughs> Thank you so much for the prime sub, Mrs. Freckletone. Thank you so much. <laughs> Is Loki working in Asgard? No, no, he's not. He's working at the science facility. <laughs> Malcolm Landgrab's eyebrows are very strong. Yes, yes. Yeah, sometimes I like, I like, uh, pulling in those those weird townies with the weird features, you know, because it makes your Sims more unique. <laughs> uh, okay, good for you, Ceres. Let's keep an eye on the kids. So I think what we're gonna have to do is she's gonna uh, go to the bathroom and then she's gonna hire a babysitter for the day because she doesn't have a test subject at home to use for free childcare now that Nervous has escaped. Um, and Nervous is now married to Pascal, and they're having a happy, happy little life over there, raising their alien baby. But Cersei is going to have to get somebody to watch the kids so she can go out. <laughs> Ugly is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you never know what you get. I love that too, Hendrick. It's so fun to see what the kids are going to look like as they grow up. I love it. I love to breed my Sims. <laughs> like some weird science experiment. Okay, uh, let's, where's the phone? Where the hell's the phone at? I know you got a phone in here. There it is. Let's call service. She's waiting until Loki leaves. We're going to find her. We're going to go find Bella. We're going to go to the pool. We're going to go to the strip mall. She might be at work today. Might have a hard time finding her, but we're going to try. Um, let's call a nanny. And I'd be happy to take care of your little ones just for now. Just for now. Just for now, please. No, I'm not using story progression. I don't use story progression in my regular gameplay. Um, because I like to play rotationally in The Sims 2. I only use it for challenges. Okay, so we are going to walk to lot. Community lot. How much would it cost to get all the Sims 3 games? I don't know. Um, but they were recently on sale for like half price. You might check if they're still on, still on sale. I don't know. No, nope, we're going alone. And um, we'll start here with the road to nowhere. Uh, thank you so much for giving out the gift sub, Razazi. Thank you for giving the gift sub to Horrid Creature. That horrid creature deserves a gift sub. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was all the Sims 3 stuff was recently on sale. I have a babysitter. Okay, I have to wait till the nanny gets here. She's here now. Maybe I can go. Uh, walks, walks a lot. Community lot. We have to do that all over again because the nanny wasn't here. Go into the pool, nanny. Watch those kids. Okay, here we go. Uh, thank you so much for the two-month Prime sub, Uncanny Eddie. Thank you very much. Wait, what happened? Did the nanny get out? Is the nanny here? Oh, yeah. Um, for The Sims 3, honestly, I for the expansions that I didn't already have, I got the keys on uh, like one of those CD key websites for like $5. I bought like three expansions for literally like 12 bucks. So, uh, because they were still $20 on origin. And I was like, are you kidding me? You're still asking $20 for these like stuff packs, Sims three stuff. Pa I got all the stuff packs and everything that way. Yeah. Okay. So Cersei is here and we're just keeping our eye out for Bella. I'm worried that she might have a job and she might be at work, so we might not find her today. But Cersei wants to go relax in the hot tub, so let's do that. Let's do that. She wants to soak in the hot tub. Caitlin Goss, General Buzz is here. The Giganto Strange Town Pool, it is so huge. I don't know why they made it so big. I guess because it's in the desert 
and the residents need an oasis. <laughs> Quentin McCauley is here. Edward Fuchs. Stuff packs should be cheaper than expansions. Yeah. The only... Uh, the only stuff packs that I don't have, or the only packs I don't have for The Sims 3, are Katy Perry and Diesel. Those are the only, one, only ones I couldn't get. And someday I might buy those just, just to have a collector's item, you know? I really want Katy Perry sweet treats. I really want that. Like, I, I want it. I want it just for irony. Just to say I own it. <laughs> I want it. Hey, I didn't make Nervous go on a date with Jenny. He chose it. He chose it. Oh, look, there's Johnny Smith. We just played Johnny Smith last. Johnny Smith, what are you doing? Are you flirting with Caitlyn? <gasps> Johnny's flirting with Caitlyn Goss? What? This wasn't a relationship before, was it? Johnny. And there's Holly Anderson. I don't know how he feels about her, but he seemed to like Caitlyn. So that's definitely a possibility for him, for a partner. Look at this. I don't even care about Cersei anymore. Like we're over here with Johnny now. <laughs> um, I got that Sims 2 poster from eBay. So you probably can't get one like that, but you could check eBay. The one I got is from the French PSP version. Oh my God, she just fell in love with Johnny. Holy crap. She just fell. Oh my God! Well, we're gonna have some. We're gonna have to deal with that when we get back to Johnny's house. So far, I'm seeing no sign of Bella. So I think we might try and go to another lot. Uh, she's getting really hot anyway. Let's see. We're gonna walk uh, to another community lot now. I can't believe Johnny and Caitlyn. I don't think that they ha were had been flirting with each other before. I got the poster that I got, I got it framed in glass because it was already starting to get a little bit damaged. Get out of the hot tub, like around the edges. And um, so I got it framed in glass, but now I'm like, I wish I wouldn't have got it in glass because every time I try to record with it, like in the background, the light reflects off the glass, <laughs> but it will preserve it. It will preserve it. And okay, we're going to go to the strip mall now. Did they go on a date? Oh, maybe they did. I don't remember them going on a date, but maybe they did. Um, because they sure seem to... Yeah, they had to have dated before, huh? Because she fell in love, like, right away. So they had to have already had a high romantic relationship. You're right about that. Um, I just didn't remember him being with her, but that's good for him. That's good for him. I love... Yeah, I love seeing the other Sims living their lives on the community lots, too. I really love that about The Sims 2. Um, you can kind of see that in The Sims 3, but it's not the same. It's not the same as in The Sims 2. Buzz tried to talk to Cersei. Well, too bad. <laughs> no, I do not play with story progression when I play my neighborhoods. No. Okay, here we go. Cross your fingers that Bella shows up in the strip mall. Uh, there's Johnson Pie. Don't care about you, Johnson. We put the walls down. That is not Bella. That's somebody else. And we have our cashiers who have all aged up to adults. I really like that. Brittany Parker. There's uh, Razor Waiter is here. There he is. And all of his glorious... He's sharpening the glass. Oh, thank you, Ace. Razor Waiter. Yeah, you know, I'm not crazy about open world all that much. What are you doing, Cersei? Because it does lead to a lot of problems. It does lead to a lot of problems. I'm not that, I'm not a big proponent of open world. I kind of prefer to play the way it is in The Sims 2, but I'm a control freak and I like to control everything. If you're the kind of person who only wants to play like one family and you want the rest of the world to go on around you, then open world would probably be good for you. <laughs> I 
I don't see Bella anywhere. I really think she has a job. I really do. I think we're not going to see her until evening time. I know we've seen her on community lots before. But I bet she's at work right now. I think I'll just send Cersei home for the time being and we'll go out again. Well, she wants to buy some jewelry first. She wants to buy some jewelry first. Um, let's see. I can't. Oh, I have to click on this. Buy jewelry. I was trying to click on the register. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Kira. Um, that's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Um, thank you. That's very encouraging. I've heard a lot of people say that they have PCOS and they were able to have children. So that's really uh, encouraging to me. Thank you. Did we get a meme? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Uh, thank you so much for the five months at tier one cornflake. Thank you. What should we get her? Maybe we get her some earrings. We'll get her some earrings. I can't tell what those are. Those like lightning bolts or something. I can't tell what that is. We'll get her some sensible studs. That's what I feel like Cersei would wear. She would wear sensible studs. Um, we're going to get that for her. Add it to the cart. 49 simoleons. I feel like they did actually do a good job in The Sims 4 of making it like semi kind of open world and also being able to play rotationally. I, I don't mind that really. Oh, let's put her earrings on. Change appearance. Put on those earrings. Then you can go get it. She wants to get a drink out of the soda machine, too. I'm letting her have... She's having a day out away from the kids today. <laughs> I know. I wish The Sims 4 had stores like this and The Sims 3 as well. I love the shopping. Open for business in The Sims 2 is just chef's kiss. It is just one of the best... One of my favorite expansions of all time for any Sims game. Uh, thank you so much for the Prime Sub Lady Bloodwing. Thank you very much. And I got to hydrate. Oh, let me do a hydrate. Yeah, the option to go to other worlds without starting a new game in Sims 4. Yeah, that's really nice too. I agree with that. Um, okay, let's put these earrings on. She went out and bought her some new earrings. Oh, I, she only bought one earring. You gotta buy two earrings? <laughs> she only has one earring? Okay, we gotta go buy another earring. Oops. She just wanted to try it out first. <laughs> okay, bye, Joel. We gotta buy the other one or it looks, doesn't look right. Uh, thank you so much for the four month prime sub. Mia Cool Pants 97. We need the other ear. We need the other ear. I really feel like it should have just let us have both of them. Now we have to pay $100 for these earrings. They don't even have that much money. Yes, hello. I love this whole interaction right here. Look, she has the jewelry in her hand. She hands over the money to the cashier. I love it so much. Um, I just love open for business. Okay, let's put this other earring on. There we go. There we go. <laughs> now she's got two. <laughs> You kind of like the fact that you have to buy a singular earring. Well, you could do like t different earrings in each ear. Or I've bought like a singular earring for like a male sim before. Yeah. I hate that they don't use the cash register in Sims 4. Yeah. I really like it in Sims 2, how they use it. It's really awesome. What are you doing, Cersei? Are you cleaning up other people's dishes? Okay, it's time for you to go. You got your jewelry. Let's go. She also wants to watch fish. Okay, I guess. I'm just a sucker for my Sims wants. I'm just like, you want to you wanna watch the fish? Okay. Now you have to restock them first. <laughs> I have done that before. Just bought one earring. You paid, you paid 35 simoleons to restock the fish in the, in the pet store. Great job. Great job. Um, she still wants to ask on a date and slow dance. That's really odd since we got rid of the um, pleasure. I don't know. Oh, is it getting? No, it's only 421. All right, we're going to walk home for a little bit. Maybe she'll come back in a bit. She'll come back out tonight. She's going to go home and get a bite to eat. Or she could just eat at the restaurant. Wait, hold up. Don't leave, Cersei. You, can, you got a nanny at home. You could just come eat at the restaurant. 
Um, let's be seated. Let's be seated at counter. She can sit at the counter by herself. <laughs> you bought one in real life for your non lobe piercings. Yeah, I can see that too. <laughs> yeah, you can really tell the developers cared about this game when making it. Yeah, you definitely can. They put a lot of heart into it. Because I like the white UI. That's why I use it. Because I like it. It looks fresh and modern to me. I like the old UI too, but sometimes you just want to change things up. <laughs> hey, Kay Howard. <laughs> Where can I download Razor Waiter? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, he's here to take our order. We'll take the chef's choice. Thank you. Give me the chef's choice. The chef always knows exactly what I want to eat. Um, I don't know if I'd use the dark UI. I'd have to see it. I haven't ever seen it before, so I don't know. I can't say. She wants cake. She's getting cake. <laughs> I don't think I would like a pink, personally. I think it'd be a little too bright for me, personally. Because <laughs> I like him like he is, that's why. I don't want him to change. I accept Razor Waiter for who he is. I don't want to mold him into something he's not. You love that they use Comic Sans, I know. <laughs> Eat your cake, Cersei. Eat your cake. Yes, he's a relative of Edward Scissorhands. Uh, look, Chloe's here. We got a bunch of people here. Johnny's here. Let's look around and see if we see any sign of Bella. So far, no. She's quite elusive. She is quite elusive. No sign of her yet. There's Aaron Beaker. We'll find her. We'll find her. After Cersei eats... And then we gotta go to the bathroom. This is a female bathroom, yeah. And then we'll send Cersei to like to one more lot. We'll try one more time before we send her home. <laughs> My favorite Sims 2 mod is ACR. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. I'll, I'll have to look at the dark UI. I, I would consider it. I would consider it. Because I like dark mode. I like everything dark mode. Everything in my life is dark mode. No, those aren't knives. Those are his shards. Those are Razor Waiter's shards. <laughs> He's very shardy today. There's Gerard Landry. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Simsy. Loves a lot. Thank you. Or Simi Simis, I'm sorry. Sim I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. Thank you. He's sharding. Okay, Cersei, you're done. Go to the bathroom and then let's pay your bill. Uh, eight, eight, she paid eight bucks for a slice of cake. <laughs> Everything in my life is dark mode. <laughs> Everything in my digital life, I should say. I'm still keeping an eye out for Bella, y'all. She could still show up. There's Rip Grunt. Cersei needs to find her. Cersei has heard about Bella just mysteriously appearing, and she has suspicions. She has suspicions that something supernatural was going on with Bella's appearance in town, and she wants to get in on that. <laughs> There's Pascal. Uh, but she's got to find Bella first, and so far she has been unsuccessful. What are you going to do? Take a bubble bath? No, you can't take a bath in the dog bath. It's time to go. <laughs> We're going to walk. Uh, we'll go to the job services center because that's the last town. The well, last town. The last lot we haven't been to. And then she's going to head home because it's getting late. We're going to find her. We're going to find her. <laughs> hey, Shannon. You just call me Condi from now on. <laughs> Bye, Mike. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Okay, where are you, Cersei? Are you leaving? Watch, is, watch, she'll be leaving and Bella will show up. Bella will just, like, walk past her right at the last minute. I just know that's going to happen. No, we're safe. <laughs> My favorite family to play in The Sims 2? Um, probably any family in Pleasant View. I like to play the goth family in Pleasant View, and I also like to play the Calientes and the Pleasants. 
Probably all of those. Yeah. <laughs> Condi's fans are called con dogs. <laughs> what are you doing here, Tycho? Tycho's looking for a job. I forgot Tycho became a teen, y'all. I forgot. Aw, Tycho, you're so cute. Come here. Come here. Let, no, come here. I want to look at you. I want to get a good look at you again. <laughs> look at that face. He hasn't changed at all. The same Tycho he was when he was a little used car salesman. No, not the oldies. Not the old. The oldies are my least favorite family. They're my least favorite. <laughs> but they were fun in The Sims 3 whenever we took them on vacation and they became horrible. <laughs> that was fun. I like playing them in The Sims 3. Oh, there's Crystal Curious. She's prego. I like playing them in The Sims 3 because then you can just leave them to die. <laughs> you don't have to play them. Uh, no sign of Bella yet. Cersei's using the job services computer to chat, to give financial consulting. Well, that's a good use of her time, I guess. Uh, Jill is here. I guess these guys are looking for jobs. I don't know. Crystal's here. Here is Buck Grunt for some reason. Buck Grunt is also a teenager. <laughs> but no sign of Bella. There's Johnny Smith. It's always the same Sims. Come on, Bella. Nope. Okay, well, it's 9 o'clock, so I'm going to send Cersei home. Another unsuccessful day of hunting. And let's walk to Lot home. But you never know. We might see her walking by the Lot. We might see her walking by Cersei's house, actually. She's hiding. She's hiding, definitely. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Joe. Hello, Beth. She's hunting for a subject. <laughs> it says subject. Uh, we could do a prediction. I don't know what to do a prediction on. We could do a prediction on which, will she find Bella? Okay, let's do a prediction. Will she find Bella? Let's see. Start prediction. No, not gender of Cassandra's baby. Oh, I'll just let this play. I'll let this play. Um, will Cersei find Bella? Yes or no? Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes to put in your predictions because when she gets back, Bella might walk by. So I don't want to give you too long. Uh, here you go. Put in your predictions. Will Cersei find Bella before the end of the round? I am going to speed things up. She is home in 11 hours, but we do, we could, I guess we could keep an eye on the kid here. He's hungry, so I'm going to send him downstairs. We can start working on, oh, he's already downstairs. Uh, get leftovers. We can start working on his little personality. Do we know what his hobby is? Oh, his hobby is science. His hobby is science. I love it. <laughs> You're putting it all on the line. No, Loki can't be the new test subject. He's the tester. He can't be the testee. <laughs> he can't be the testee. <laughs> oh, we got a commercial break. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, hold on. I got a whole bunch of stuff over here. So I got to hydrate. Let me do a hydrate for time plays. I got to ask me anything if I had to pick, which is, oh, I already answered that one. And I got another ask me anything. What kind of cars do I think Tyco sells? Lemons. Lemons. Old beat up beaters. Cheapies. <laughs> That's what I think he sells. And let's do a commercial break. Okay. I got something so good to show you guys. So yesterday when I was recording my last video, I was sitting there. I was recording and something crazy happened and I got it on camera. <laughs> So this is what I'm going to show you guys for commercial break. Uh, let me get it pulled up here. It is so funny. I keep watching it over. It's hilarious. Okay, no, don't start. Don't start. Don't start. So I made it into a little video. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay. Um, there's my face. So watch the Sims 2 poster to the left. Okay. Watch it. 
Here you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that <laughs> That is Laszlo. He just jumped. <laughs> Again. I want to show you again. Watch it again. Watch it again. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that happened while I was well while I was recording that video yesterday. So there's a shelf up above that you can't see up above the poster. There's a shelf up there. He thought he could jump up onto that shelf. <laughs> from the floor <laughs> and he just came flying <laughs> he just launched himself <laughs> and he knocked over my plant he knocked over the poster <laughs> you want to see it again okay here we go <laughs> oh my god Oh my god. It's so funny. <laughs> I don't know why he did it. He was trying to jump on a shelf that was up above that poster. There's no way he could ever make that shelf. <laughs> He's ambitious. So I saw him. I thought he was going to do something like this. I was looking at him and he was sitting there and he was going like standing up on his paws, like looking up there. And I was like, you better not try to jump up there. And he just launched himself at it. <laughs> I was in the middle of recording. I was in the middle. Um, I was just about, cause I, I looked down at him and I was like, okay, you're fine. And then I was about to start talking again. And that's when he did it. Okay, no, one more. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> You can see hit the shadow, like you can see his reflection. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> you can see his reflection. Just watch the poster. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, it's so funny. <laughs> Reach for the stars. I know, look at my face. <laughs> Reach for the stars. The plant, I know. <laughs> It's so funny. Okay, one more time. One more time. Oh, Lord. He coming. Oh, my God. I can. I never get tired of watching it. Like, me and Mr. Pleasant watched this, like, 20 times. We watched it, like, 20 times. <laughs> Gibbons, you son of a... This little pause. Okay, one more time. I can't. I, I can't get tired of it. <laughs> oh my god! His paws come in first. His bottom paws. <laughs> oh god! I am. I'm gonna post it on Twitter, but I wanted to, and I'm gonna post it in the Discord, but I wanted to show it to you guys first on the stream. <laughs> YouTube. Yeah, I'll put it on YouTube. A four second video. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I will. I will. A short. Yes. Thank you. My first short. Thank you. I cough. I cough twitch. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. It, this will be my first short y'all. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Um, I will be, you guys will be seeing that. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it as much as I did. I really am. <laughs> oh, that was the funniest one I ever got. That was the funniest thing I ever have on camera. Yeah, it's gonna go viral. <laughs> it's like Sims meets Vine. Oh, I'm totally making that into a short. That is such a great idea. I have no, I haven't done any shorts yet. So yes, yes. I know the reflection. You just see him coming. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, I'm gonna put it on there, guys. Definitely. I'm gonna put it on Twitter too. 
Yes, he's named after Laszlo Curious and also Laszlo Cravensworth from What We Do in the Shadows. <laughs> oh, God. With a pause on my shocked face, yes. <laughs> I'll have 100K in no time with that video. I need more videos of Laszlo crashing into stuff. <laughs> Again? I already put it up now. I don't use, I thought about it, on uh, putting it on TikTok, but I really don't use TikTok. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you clipped it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I, kn I thought you guys would enjoy that. Yeah. Oh, and I want to have little Adam here. Okay, back to the game real quick. Uh, I'm going to have Adam go jump rope. Go do some jump roping. Easy. Easy peasy. With a slow-mo replay. Yes, I need to put a slow-mo replay on the end of it. That's a good, that's a good idea, Baba Jane. Can I make this clip something you can redeem points for on Twitch? Hmm, that's a good idea. Yeah, let me see about that. Um, I have the fixed Strange Town. It's the one that's on Mod The Sims. I don't know if that's the per- I don't remember the name of the person who did it. That might be it, but it's the one that's on Mod The Sims, yeah. <laughs> we could remix it with hot drinks. <laughs> it could show up on the screen in the corner. I like that. Well, I'll see if I can make that into some kind of notification or something. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see if I can, guys. <clears throat> I'll look into that after the stream. Pretty sure there's a way to do it. <laughs> I, I wonder if I can do it with channel points. I don't know. I'll, I'll look into it and see what what's possible, guys. No, Bella's here. She's here. We've seen her. No, we've seen her. Maybe I don't. Maybe I have the old fix. Oh, you know what? Maybe I have the old fix Strange Town for this because we started playing this a long time ago. I know Bella's here. I know Be I know Bella is here so it's possible I could have the other strange town. I don't remember. <laughs> I might, you know, I might have the strange town the uh meet me to the river strange town for this. I don't I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> Adam has gained a point of body skill from jump rope. I thought I had the one for mod the sims but maybe I don't cuz Bella is definitely in here. We have seen her. Oh yeah, and I want to keep an eye out on uh, the front of the house too. So I'm going to speed things up. Okay, well, I'll let him stop so we can take care of himself. Let's speed things up till Cersei or Loki gets here. We'll let the kids take care of themselves. That was not Bella. But if Bella's here, I'm going to stop and have somebody go grab her. Ooh, 18 simoleons. Nope, that's River Smith. Aw, thank you so much, Cunning JJ. That's very nice of you to say. Thank you. Is there a way to add the Strange Town Townies separately to meet me's clean template? You can. It, it's it's kind of a pain in the ass, but there is a way to add the townies to a town. You could basically add them into a subhood. The way I would do it is add them into a subhood, then add the subhood. And then delete the subhood. I think you could, or maybe you'd have to leave the subhood. I don't know. I think you could do it that way somehow. <laughs> oh, then, okay. If Meet Me to the Rivers only has Crystal Vu, Abji, and Meredith, then I don't have hers because we have all the townies here. And we have all the townies here. So I must have the Mod the Sims one. Okay, this kid needs his diaper changed. Where is my worthless nanny? <laughs> to have them resurrect Ophelia and use her as a test subject? I mean, that would be something. I hate how the road just ends. It just ends right there. Is there an end piece? Oh my god, That do you see that car? That car just drove off the cliff. Is there an end piece? No, I don't think there is. Because this is just the regular Maxis road. I know, it just ends. It just ends. 
Ceres only has two days left before celebrating a birthday. Ceres' aspiration meter is looking pretty low. We're trying, okay? It's not that low. It's like halfway. <laughs> Thelma and Louise, yeah. They just drive right off the cliff, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Cunning JJ uh, play all the games. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> there's the clip. Thank you so much, Nathan, for that clip. <laughs> um, well, you can find clean templates with the townies. If you want Strange Town, you can find it on Mod The Sims. If you just want the townies, you would have to extract them and put them into a subhood yourself. It would be a huge pain in the butt. So I would recommend if you want the townies, just using the strange town that already has the townies. There's another townie. And let me, you know what? Let me just make sure, but I know we've seen Bella, but let me just make sure if we enable summon menu, let me just see if I could teleport her over. Um, I think she would be under, I don't know what she would be under. No, that's the young. Voot? No, where is she? Lucas? They're under, I don't think they're under, D I thought default was, uh, oops. I thought default was, uh, like NPCs, but, oh, maybe not, because that's a service NPCs, okay. Or a body. No, they're under a body. There she is. She's here. She's here. Biscuits are in the oven. Oh, man, I made biscuits. We made uh, biscuits from scratch last weekend. No, you can't just copy them over. Mm -mm. No. Wait, what? Where she is? Oh, oh, in the menu. Yeah, in the menu. I thought you meant she was here on the lot. Uh, okay, Loki. <sighs> Let's get you up to take care of your kid. She doesn't really need to be potty trained, but maybe by the time you make it all the way up there, you can put her on the potty. And we, he's getting really tired, but he needs to come take care of his kid. I, I think I'll make biscuits tomorrow, too. I love, I love biscuits. I love homemade biscuits. They're the best. I don't like those biscuits that come out of a can, though. That is, ugh. That is gross. Uh, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Play all the games. Um, you can just scroll up and you should be able to see the clip right there. It's not too far up. Yeah, I made it from scratch. Heck yeah. We don't eat canned biscuits in my house. If we have biscuits, we eat the real biscuits. <laughs> like I'm sure Max did too. I'm sure Max made his from scratch because he's a good baker. I don't bake that much, but we just got a new oven and we wanted to try it out. We didn't... This was like really cool. My Mr. Pleasant's... Uh, stepdad found our exact model of our oven at a garage sale and bought it for us and we needed a new one really bad and it replaced it so we don't have a full-size oven it's like a convection oven he found the exact same one i couldn't believe it and it fit like perfectly in i was like yes saved us like a bunch of money so we wanted to try that out so we made biscuits and they turned out really good you love canned biscuits Ooh, i don't i don't I don't. It was meant to be. Um, okay, learn to walk, learn to talk. I'm so sorry. We can't t teach you any of those skills. Oh, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits, Triple Consonant. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Get to hear that 1,000 bit song. <laughs> you have no tradition on making biscuits. I come from a biscuit-heavy culture. <laughs> <laughs> I come from the American South where we eat biscuits constantly. Okay, you need to go to sleep. Let's see. Feed the kid, I guess. Do we have a fridge up here? Oh, we have a bottle fridge. Get bottle for series. You have other different kinds of pastries, but different from biscuits and cookies. Yeah. Canned biscuits are... So I don't like them. I don't like... They have a weird taste. They don't, they can't get the texture, you know, of regular, of homemade biscuits to me. No, biscuits in the U.S. are not cookies. Biscuits are, 
I get I don't know what the equivalent to biscuits in the UK is, but cookies are cookies and biscuits are biscuits. Okay, let's check this baby. More like scones. Our biscuits are more like scones. She needs a she needs a bath or something. Loki, get back here and care for your child. Uh okay, that doesn't help. Give her a bath, bathe series. And Cersei is back. And she's very, very tired. And we still have no sign of Bella. Okay, pick this up. I love scones, too. I love scones and biscuits. I love scones with uh, lemon curd. That's my favorite. Yeah. I want biscuits now, too. <laughs> I don't really like biscuits and gravy, but I like biscuits with, like, jam and butter. You need to go to sleep, Ceres, because we've got another day of trying to find Bella ahead of us tomorrow. So you go ahead and go to sleep, which I do not think she's prego. I think that was old, old news. Um, thank you so much for the 300 bits, Nate Mays. Thank you very much. Oh, and I got a save game. That's a great idea. Let's save right now. Hey, no pink soup so far. Maybe it worked. Maybe it worked. Um, She ran back to Pleasant View. That has to be it. Hold on, I'll show you what a um, what a biscuit is to me, where I'm from. Uh, this is a biscuit, right here, right there. That is what we call a biscuit. Oh, it's so good! It's so crispy. It's like cr it's like crumbly on the outside and like soft on the inside. It's so good. And you put butter. I like to put butter and jam on it, but you can put gravy or whatever see it's just flour a little bit of sugar salt baking powder i don't put cream of tartar in mine i use baking soda in mine i make baking so baking not baking soda baking powder biscuits so here they are again no it's not a scone mm -mm. it's not the same thing as a scone scone It's kind of like a scone. <laughs> this is what I call a scone. This is what I call a scone. And usually scones are sweet in my, when I've seen them, like this is a scone. Maybe what you call scones in the UK is what we call, yeah, this is exactly what, like this is like my recipe for biscuits. So yeah. Yeah, it's a scone. It's a scone. <laughs> I've always seen scones like this. Like, this is how we make them. Um, but this is like my exact recipe for biscuits right here. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess they're the same thing. Um, but ours are savory. Our biscuits are savory. What I really like is the cheese, garlic cheese biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> Plain scone is American biscuit. Okay, that's good. I didn't know. I didn't realize that. It's not a scone. It's the exact same recipe. <laughs> to me, a scone is sweet because that's the only way I've ever had them. They're not really common where I live at all. I have a recipe for scones in my Betty Crocker cookbook, and it's like some huge drawn out process that I never do. It could just be a biscuit. Did you bathe this child? You did not! Why didn't you bathe the kid? Okay, give bathe series and you gotta go to sleep. Cream, I think cream cheese on a, a sweet scone would be good. The UK do not accept the triangle scones. <laughs> That's the only way I've ever had scones. I know I'm hungry too. After I finish the stream, Mr. Pleasant and I are going to get a slice of pizza from my favorite pizza place in town. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Red Lobster Biscuits are pretty good. I used to really like the Ruby Tuesday Biscuits before they stopped carrying them. And now I'll never go back to Ruby Tuesday. I'm like, I only went there for your biscuits. And now you don't have the biscuits. All the rest of your food is mediocre at best. You're having Easter lamb. Yeah, replacing all the defaults in The Sims is a pain, but it's so worth it once you get it done. 
Okay, let's put little baby Ceres to bed. Loki is such a family man, despite his evil nature. And then we're going to go to sleep in pajamas. And then I don't know what happened to the other kid. He's in bed. He took care of himself. He's going to wet the bed, though, maybe. <laughs> it took me a long time to do all my defaults. Like, it, it literally took me weeks. And I did it while I was still working at my other job. So I would just do it, like, an hour a day or something like that. And I finally got it all done. I replaced every single, almost every single bit of clothing. Almost all of it. There's a couple things I left because I like some of the stuff in the later expansion packs. But almost everything got replaced. Yeah, I, that's why I used the new hair system because it was so easy to replace and it looks really good. It looks really good with my skins too. I had to keep track of everything in a... Because I had some stuff replaced, so I had to just start over and keep track on my spreadsheet so I knew what I replaced. And it just made it so much easier. Yeah. I like that Peppermint and Ging Ginger has them all, but I don't... I'm not crazy about the colors. Or they just... They don't... They're, they're nice colors, but they don't look right with the skin I like to use. So that's why I don't use those. Uh, okay, the kid is awake. And he needs to be potty trained. You gotta wake up at 2 a.m. This is what you have to do now that you have a toddler and go potty train your child since you want to do it. <laughs> Come on. I like how they sneak it. I like how they get out of the crib and they giggle when they do it. <laughs> My favorite curious brother is mm, probably Vidkind. I like Vidkind. I gotta say, I really like him. He's such a weirdo. You can never use defaults. You like your hideous base game bowl cuts. <laughs> well, have fun with that. Have fun with that, Max. I like the sim group textures too. And I thought about switching to the sim group hairs, but like, I just don't feel like taking the time to download all the hairs at this point in my life. You still didn't get potty trained? My God, child. How many more times do you need to go on the potty? I don't know what to do for you anymore. Okay, Vidkin, go to the bathroom. Go back to sleep. You can go back to sleep now. The kid's fine. The kid's fine. Let's finish out the night here. You love those bell-bottom jeans I hate. Oh, I hate them so bad. It's not the fact that they're flare. It's that I hate the knees. The knees are so weird. I don't... This just looks so bizarre to me. Adam is losing enthusiasm in science. No, no. Yes, Vidkind. He's my favorite. <laughs> I love him because he's... I don't know. He's like the outcast. He's like the one nobody likes. And I love an underdog. <laughs> You wish someone would retexture the PNG default hairs to pop it version two? Somebody might. Somebody might. Okay, are you awake yet? Yeah, oh, he's taking a bath somewhere. Or he's going to take a bath. Okay, that's good. Uh, Cersei's awake. <sighs> Cersei wants to kiss Loki and flirt with Loki and talk to Loki. Okay, that's great, but that's not going to help us find Bella. <laughs> we must find her. Uh, first of all, go use the bathroom and get some breakfast. And I think she has to go to work today. She has to go to work at 10 a.m. Uh, have breakfast. No, just get leftovers. Get leftovers. You have a whole bunch of leftovers in there. In order to get promoted, she's a general practitioner. In order to get promoted, she needs a lot of mechanical logic and cleaning, which she'll probably never get. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Isabel. <laughs> I like playing with Vidkin too, yeah. I do. Adam's gotta go to school in an hour, so we have to make sure he's ready for school. He'll be fine. He can eat at school. Get you some whatever that that's vegetable soup. That's a good breakfast. <laughs> a breakfast of vegetable soup. That's what we need. So I still I wanna keep an eye out in front of the house. Cause I'm just waiting on Bella to walk by. Just come on. Come on and walk by. It'd be perfect. They have to go to work in an hour. Watch her show up 
if she sh if she walks by while they're at work, I swear to God, I swear to God. Uh, Adam, you need to get to school. All right, he's going. He's heading to the school bus. What does he want to do here? Get an A plus report card and gain a skill point. Skill points are more important to me, so I'm gonna lock that in for him. How's Sari's doing? Oh, not good. Not good at all. Uh, who's upstairs? Cersei? No, we're gonna have we're gonna have you do it. Don't make the bed. Oh god. She's gonna end up potty training him. Oh well. Or potty training her. Yeah, she's at the apartments, it's true. And um, that's where she lives. But we can't just like visit there. You hate that their entrance door is arches. Yeah, it needs to be closed in, I think. They don't have much money right now. So I'm trying to conserve. <laughs> Eat your breakfast salad. I think that's salad. Mmm, nothing like a big salad in the morning. I couldn't eat salad for breakfast. I couldn't. I have a specific set of breakfast foods that I have to eat for breakfast. Which is really weird. It doesn't make any sense. Like, why do you only eat certain foods at breakfast and certain foods at lunch and dinner? I don't know, but it's just like in my mind. Bella's probably in a UFO again. Well, we tr still have not potty trained this child. Hopefully the nanny showed up to take care of her. Nope, did we not hire a nanny? Did we not? I don't think Cersei's gonna be able to go to work. If she can't go to work because there's no nanny, then just, that's a sign. That's a sign that she's gonna take a sick day today. Does she have time off? Oh yeah, she's got five vacation days. Oh no, she's going. Maybe the nanny is here and I missed it? Oh no, it's gonna, oh, it's gonna leave Loki. It's gonna leave Loki, no, no, no. Okay, you, get out. It's never gonna work, she's in the carpool now. She's in the carpool. It's all over. I thought I already had, I thought I already had a nanny hired before, but I, d I did not. Great, Loki gets his, okay, well, you know what? Loki can go. It doesn't have to be Cersei. Loki's on the same page. He's looking for Bella too. So he can go and meet her. Which let me just double check their uh, relationships and make sure that he hasn't met her. Nope, he hasn't. What, you're mad at your baby? Why, are, oh, he's mad at her because she made a mess. Because she made a puddle. She's just a baby, Loki, jeez. You can't get mad at a baby for making a mess, making a puddle. <laughs> yeah, now it's Loki's turn. All right, so we're gonna walk, oh, we're gonna, we have to hire a babysitter. So I'm gonna hire a babysitter uh, for daily now. And then he's gonna go out looking. Maybe today we'll get lucky, it'll be Bella's day off. She'll be hanging around town. He's Loki, what do we expect? I know. <laughs> I hate my baby for wetting themselves. I know, he's such a jerk. He's a family sim, but he has very strict requirements for his family. Like, he does not put up with any misbehavior or what he perceives as misbehavior. Uh, re not repairman. Nanny. <laughs> yes, classic Loki. He demands perfection from his kids. Yes, he does. Okay, we're going to track schedule now. And hopefully she'll be coming over now. Oh, that's no, that's the maid. It's like, that was fast. That was the maid. So I'm just watching for the nanny or Bella. That's Jenny Smith. Okay, is the nanny gonna come or am I gonna have to call her back? Oh, no, here she is. She just took forever. <laughs> <laughs> Baby isn't potty trained to the audacity. No, that was not the nanny. That was just a car driving off the cliff. Okay, hold up. Hold up. We got to call again. We got to call. And be like, get over here, lady. I need to go out. Yeah, I think he does need a servo too. Yeah. Uh, nanny? 
She shuddered at him. She was like, ugh. <laughs> Just get over here, Nanny. Get over here. She pulled a no call, no show. <laughs> I love how the cars drive off the cliff. Oh, there she is. She's here. Okay, we can go now. We can go now. Look, now Loki's hungry, though. Oh, get some leftovers. Hurry up. Hurry up. The kid needs to go to sleep. Nobody's taking care of this child. At least the nanny's here. Thank goodness. <laughs> now, I just have this nanny just for now. The other nanny's tracking the schedule. This nanny's just for now. So I'm okay with that. Just eat your salad. Two, you've already had two salads today. Double nanny. <laughs> I think that's a salad. I can't see. It's under the. It's under the fruit plate. One nanny for each kid. Oh, there's one here. Oh, there's two nannies here. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Two nannies showed up. Okay, we're gonna dismiss this one. Thank you for your service. We don't need you now. So when the hell did the other nanny get here? Why am I on? What is happening? Did you dismiss that nanny? We're running out of time. I don't think he dismissed her. Dismiss. Aw, thank you, Jessica. And thank you so much for the seven months at tier one speed, Mosey. Thank you very much. I gotta hydrate like four minutes ago, Derpy. I'm sorry. Oh, she pulled up right as I called. <sighs> Great. Well, dismiss her so we can go. The baby just passed out on the floor. The baby is just passed out on the floor. You stupid woman! Get out of my house! Dismiss! I can't catch her. She keeps running away. She's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this money. You can't catch me. You can't dismiss me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she's going back up. No, you stupid. Stop it. We're gonna spend all day chasing around the nanny and we're never gonna find Bella. She's a smelly hag, I can confirm. <laughs> Two nannies, nobody's taking care of the kid. Dismiss this nanny, please. Please, come on. She's. Oh no, that's the bottle that stinks. You were dismissed, lady. Bye. Bye. Get out. Thank you. Hey, look, he's furious with the baby. He's furious. <laughs> he's furious with the child. Oh, I gotta take a screenshot of that. He's so mad at this child. Yeah. <laughs> Poor kid. Poor kid. Let's get him out of here. Walk to lot. Community lot. Let's go down to the pool. See if Bella shows up. You're stopping me from abducting Bella. Get out of my house. <laughs> He's so angry his eyes disappeared. <laughs> That's Loki for you. Where are you, Loki? Oh, I don't know where he went. Where is he? He walked all the way around outside. That's odd. Oh, I have a car. <laughs> he needs exercise, Hendrick. He's walking. He needs exercise. I should have taken the car. Uh, we should set that as his car. We could have taken that nanny. But Bella's more, inter more uh, interesting. Can you cuss? It depends on what you say. <laughs> I can't answer that question. <laughs> Kira says no, so no. <laughs> um, okay, he just walked off the cliff, yeah. Here we go. Let's see who shows up. So we've got Edward Fuchs again. I guess he doesn't have a job. He's always at the community pool. And now we'll just wait a little bit, see what town you show up. There's Benny Lucas. <laughs> Bella, where are you? Vidkind. Hey, Samantha. The fart notification is the highest used one. 
I love it. I love it. <laughs> Bella, where are you? Here, Bella. <laughs> oh, my dog's going to think I'm calling her. <laughs> my dog is probably like, what? What do you want? There's Barbara Young. <laughs> Oops. Cooper Tank is here. Uh, Loki's just going for a swim. He's like, I'll just take a nice dip in the pool while I wait. I'm giving you till four o'clock. You got eight minutes. And then we're leaving. There's Gary Gary Walton. <laughs> She's hiding. I really think she is. There's Trista. <laughs> Hi, Do Dolly. Hello. First time having a Reese's in four years. I had one, I think, at Halloween. The ha not this one, but the previous Halloween. Because that's what we get for candy to give out to our trick-or-treaters. But we didn't have Halloween this year, which was really sad. And I feel really bad for all the children who didn't get to go knock on doors. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Uh, let's leave. There's no Bella here. Get out. We're going to the strip mall, baby. Go into the strip mall. <laughs> hey, Sabrina. Welcome. Your dog is also named Bella Goth, and she thought I was calling her. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's awesome. Yes, my dog is named Bella Marie Goth. <laughs> we call her Bella Marie. <laughs> yes, Razor. Oh, gosh. Oh, there's an evil, an evil warlock. Edward somebody. <laughs> that, I don't know. That's just what we, uh, that's just what we started calling her. I have no idea. I don't know why we call our cat Gibbons. <laughs> we just, we just come up with names for our animals and they just stick. Could be a witch or a vegan. <laughs> I love that. Oh, thank you, IX. X80? <laughs> Thank you. He almost got struck by lightning. He'd probably enjoy that. Yes, I'm sure I have a Bella in the strange town. We looked. We checked. We checked. She's here. And we've seen her before, too. I'm thinking that she's at work while we're out, though. And I don't know what her job is or, like, what her day off is. So we're just, we're just winging it. Oh, there's Gerard. He's everywhere. Gerard is everywhere. You want to watch the fish, too. All right, let's watch. You can go pay 35 simoleons. There's AJ Loner. We haven't seen him in a while, so there's a different sim showing up. The Witcher Vegan is from a YouTube video where they're reading... Uh... Is it from the pregnant one, or is it from the... I think it's... Or is it from the Luigi? It's from the Luigi board video. It's from the Luigi board. Uh, there is Joel Jeffries. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who that? Who's that? General Buzz Grunt. Yeah, it's from the Luigi board. I see that I see that we need to watch some educational videos on the channel again because we have some viewers in here who don't know all the history of our jokes. <laughs> and is she an executive? I have no idea. I have no idea. David Gibson is here, um, but no Bella. I think we're wasting our time going out in the day. I think we need to go out at night, but it is 6 p.m. now. Let's check his... Oh, he needs to go to the bathroom and get something to eat. So we'll have him eat at the restaurant. Go take a dump in the public restroom. And then go talk to Razor Waiter. We'll wait around and see if Bella shows up. Education. Connection. <laughs> the lot next to the strip mall. That's the career services. Career services center. The egg jokes came from a meme. What happened? I don't know what just happened to him, but one of his fears was just realized. Maybe being in the rain or the hail. 
Uh, the egg jokes just came from an egg meme that was like really funny and I don't know, it just kind of stuck around. We started doing a lot of egg memes. Oh, he used a public toilet, is that what he feared? Well, I feel you, I fear that too. I hate using public bathrooms. I will hold it until a bursting to not use a public bathroom. Uh, let's go be seated. Let's take a counter seat and get something to eat. Yes, it, I think it was Sammy that gave us the egg meme. Yes, thank you, Sammy. <laughs> Education. Connection. For the right college for free. <laughs> we are an egg and nut community. Yes, we are, Laura. That's very well said. Thank you. <laughs> Public ba bathrooms are most of the time nasty. I want them Eggie's mother. That was it. That was it. That was the one that started it all. I want them Eggie's mother. That was from a Sims 3 meme that Sammy showed us. And it was, I loved it so much. And then the egg just kind of, the egg stuck. The egg stuck. <laughs> Ask me anything. Egg? I don't think that was the birth of it, but I think that, that added to it. <laughs> Oh, Razor Waiter's here. Razor Waiter's here, ready to take our order. We'll take a chef's choice, please. Chef always knows best. Uh, what did he want to eat? I didn't see what it floated above his head. I love the shopping area, too. If you like this strip mall, you can download it on my website, pleasantsims.com. And I have not forgotten about the apartment buildings. I'm still going to try to get those up soon. Melba strong potions. Those rascals could never handle them. <laughs> That's right. What did he get? Is that is that shrimp? Is that prawns? It's prawns. It's prawns. <laughs> yeah, that was Max. That was like one of the first ones we ever. East Hills was one of the first ones we ever watched on the channel. I, and I had never. I didn't. I didn't know what it was, and it was hilarious. Okay, still no signs of Bella. I don't think she's I don't think she's fond of shopping. Once he finishes his food, uh it's late, but that's okay. He's done with his food. Let's have him pay his bill. 19 bucks. He's got expensive tastes. There's nothing wrong with the waiter. That's right. He's perfect exactly as he is. We accept him and all of his flaws. We love him. <laughs> Boots and pants and boots and pants. He's very pointy today. He's very shardy. No, go pay your bill, Loki. Dang. Go pay your bill. We're going to go to one more lot. We're going to try one more time tonight. Uh, we're going to go to the... Strange Town Career Services. And we have one day left. We got to make it count. We got to make it count. No, get out of here. Go visit. Yes. We don't have time to talk to AJ Loner. There's Caitlin. I'm just watching because I just know Bella's going to come walking down the street. Oh, I banned employed Sims from showing there. Oh, did I? Oh, I don't I didn't remember that. Oh, so uh, that's why all the teenagers kept showing up. Oh, okay. Thank you, Johan. Thank you very much for reminding me. I forgot I did that. That is a good point. So you know what we'll do instead? Where are you, Loki? We need more community lots in this place. Uh, we'll go one more time. I'm trying to walk to lot. Okay, why can't I walk to Hold on. Walk to lot, community lot. We're gonna walk, we'll go back to the pool just for once. I really need some more community lots. I really do. We need like a bar or something. I just haven't, guys, honestly, I just haven't been playing much when I'm not streaming. Um, because I've been trying to spend less time, like more time doing things in my life, like exercising and, you know, being a person instead of just sitting at my computer for like 15 hours a day building. So that's why I haven't been building very much stuff, but we could do another build stream to get some more stuff built, especially for Strange Town. 
Okay, we're going back one more time just to see if she'll show. It's almost 10 o'clock, so we're not going to stay for too long. Uh, but we'll see if she shows up. There's Barb is here, Kendall Lawson. And let's check on his needs, too. He's getting pretty tired, but he's all right. He's got a little energy left in him. <sighs> Crystal Curious. No help at all, Crystal. No help at all. <laughs> Hello, Mandy. But I thought, you know, we could I could build on stream because that's fun, too. I know some people don't like build streams, but I like doing them every once in a while. We can get a lot accomplished like we did with our rec center. Which turned out quite well for us. <laughs> we already cloned Crystal. Thank you. Next. <laughs> that's exactly right. Benny Lucas. I didn't do any weird thing like ban Bella from the public lots or something, did I? I don't think I did. You like the build streams? Oh, I'm glad. Yeah. Instead of an egg hunt, we have a Bella hunt. I don't think I did either, but it's so weird that she's not showing up anywhere. I mean, we know she's here. <sighs> okay, well, it's 11 o'clock. He's going to have to get home, guys. He's been out looking for her all day. No sign of her yet. Um, but he's got to go home because he's got to go to work tomorrow, I think. No, he's off tomorrow. So tomorrow's our last day and he's off work. So he's going to try again. She's got to have a day off eventually. She's incognito. <laughs> do do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I like building community lots, too. It's fun. No, she's in the strange town. She's in both. She's in both. We don't think too hard about it. <laughs> Adam brought a friend home from school today. Ishmael Smith. Aw, oh, he brought Ishmael home. Oh, be careful, Ishmael. Be careful over here. They're going to want to never let you leave. No, she's, she lives in an apartment. Uh, Bella lives in an apartment. But they don't know her, so they can't call her. We're trying to meet her. Ishmael, um, let's see. What, is this, what does the kid want to do? Oh, he wants to be friends with Ishmael. Wow, he's got quite a bit of logic skill. So let's have him hang out uh, with Ishmael. Let's see. Join. Go watch... TV with your friends? I can't visit Sims. There's no way to I don't I don't have a mod where you can visit other Sims. Oh, we could try the computer. That's a good idea. Yeah. We could try the computer. <laughs> we earned a 21 simoleons today. Well, when Cersei gets home, we'll have her try the computer. You never know. That's a good that is a good idea. I didn't even think about that. Chat with Bella. <laughs> you thought I was saying itch meal? <laughs> it's my accent. Okay, 482 bucks. All right, that's good. Now let's have you come in. You need to go to the bathroom. You need to take an after work poop. Go take yourself an after work poop and then go down in the in the subject room. And, oh no, the, it's broken. Okay, you're gonna have to repair it. Repair the computer. <laughs> no, Bella doesn't need a computer in her house. They'll still show up on here. They'll still show up on the chat. Um, townies and stuff will show up on it. And maybe they're at the library or like they're at the career center using the computer. That's what I like to imagine. Oh, what's she doing? Giving financial consulting. She loves to do that. Okay, chat with... No, she's not online. She's not online right now. We tried. Darn. We'll try again. We'll keep trying. And poor... She just wants some romance, too. Okay, bye, Ishmael. Oh, they became friends. Yay, I'm so happy. So Ishmael and uh, Adam are now friends. I like that. I like that he has a little friend. He wants to ask for homework help. 
Okay, let's see if he can ask his mom for homework help. Um, oh, and they have a book, a secret bookcase going into here. So, like, the maids and stuff don't go in there. What'd you do with your homework, though? Okay, you put it up here. I'm gonna move it onto the floor so you can ask for homework help. Uh, let's ask Cersei, because Loki is not home, and he's not going to be home for several hours. So go ask your mom to help you with homework. I'm going to have her stop whatever she's doing. The nanny's still there, I know. We need to dismiss the nanny. Yeah, I love Adam's room, too. We need to dismiss the nanny. <laughs> I didn't have to click on the door. I just clicked on the computer and she came in here. So, that didn't do that for me. What are you doing, Cersei? Get off the computer. He's trying to talk to you. He's trying to ask you for homework help. All she cares about is her financial consulting. No, 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 no. Uh, we gotta go back upstairs again. And ask, you gotta click on the homework. Ask for homework help from Cersei. <laughs> it's close. Adam and Adam. I pronounce them exactly the same way. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're, maybe it's locked. That's a good point. Cersei, go. No, Cersei. Oh, these stairs drive me crazy. I need to replace the stairs with modular stairs because I hate this. Okay, go here. They'll cancel out their action. Oh, they had another door here. Why? You have another door? What? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You sh No. What's the point in that? <gasps> What's the point in that if there's an arch right there? Okay, we gotta get rid of that. <laughs> How was that a secret room? It wasn't very secret. <laughs> we gotta get rid of that. Okay, you stop. You Oh no, he's way too tired to do homework now. Okay, you screwed it all up, Sims. You screwed it all up. <laughs> Alright, he's too tired. He's gotta go to the bathroom and... Go, he's gonna have no food. He has no food. He's too tired. He's gotta go to sleep. He's going to sleep with no dinner. Cersei, you're a terrible mother. What's even, what's the baby even, oh my god. <laughs> the baby's about to, about to, let's see if we can potty train her. Come on, Cersei. Get the kid. Get the kid on the, on the turlet. Oh, because townies couldn't get in to be experimented on. Oh, that's what it was, Meerkat. Thank you. The baby's about to blow. But I forgot to take it out, I guess. Oh, no, it's too late. It's too late. We didn't make it. We didn't make it. Now you got to bathe this child. Uh, bathe series. Cersei's not that great of a mom. <laughs> yeah. It's too late. <laughs> Bye, Cheesy. Thanks for stopping by. Um, Did I get any hydrates? Okay, I'm just checking. Oh, I did. I did. I got a hydrate 14 minutes ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. Um, Loki's still not back. Adam is asleep. Tomorrow, Loki's got one more chance, y'all. He's got one more chance at this. Aw, thank you so much, Cheesy, for gifting us up to Flora Sims. Thank you so much. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. Bathe the child. I don't, I'm not even, I don't even have you selected. Now put the kid to bed, I guess. Put him down. And you go to sleep too. No romance for you tonight. You've got a job. You've got a job to do. Oh, thank you so much for the two-month Prime sub, Cheesy. Thank you very much. <laughs> it didn't show up earlier. <laughs> thank you. Oh, yeah, the skill boost in the fall. Yeah, it's really nice. And even then, I feel like it's taking us forever to uh, potty train this kid. 
You think she hates kids but keeps her children because they make Loki happy? That makes sense to me. Oh, thank you so much for the 10 months sub, Anna. Thank you very much. 10 months. I can't believe I've been uh, streaming on Twitch for 10 months, y'all. It doesn't feel like it's been that long. I rem it feels like I just started. <laughs> Used to call her Circle when you were younger. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we're just gonna let this kid- oh, Loki's home. He wants to be a werewolf. He wants to become a freaking werewolf. You know what? If anybody could become a werewolf, it's Loki. It's Loki. I'm locking it in. What am I gonna do? I'm locking it in. I'm locking it in. And I'm also gonna have him go- I know he's tired. He's gonna go put this kid on the turlet. Yes. Yes. It's just knowledge sim once. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna have him put her on the turlet one more time. <laughs> Laszlo's more werewolf. I can, I don't know. I see, I can definitely see Loki as, tra as turning himself into a werewolf. I can definitely see that happening. Maybe we'll try for it the next time we play them. Look how much she still has! You know what? <laughs> Rest in peace. I think that I am used to having the smart milk, and that's why it feels like it's taking so long. Here, let's put her to bed. Put her to bed so you don't have to wake up anytime soon. Aww. Thank you, lovely little bee. That's very nice of you to say, and I'm so glad to hear that. It's true, not all kids get potty trained or grow up well. In fact, most of mine don't. Holy crap, look who it is. Hold on, hold up. What luck, what fate has befallen us that it is the freaking leader of the pack right outside, right after he got that one. It's meant to be, it's meant to be. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anna, for gifting a sub to lovely little bee. Thank you. Okay, hold up. Greet Rambo. Come on, Rambo. Loki's gonna... Loki's gonna make you his friends. <laughs> it's meant to be. Okay, he... Wow. He took right to the, to the wolf there. Oh, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, play all the games. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see. Give love. We're gonna feed him a treat. We're gonna try to befri befriend him with a treat. Yes, there we go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and stroke him. I don't care if you're tired. You stroke that wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're having fun. It's, it's a me snake. Get back over here. Stroke the wolf. <laughs> there we go. We got to make friends with him, I think. Oh, no, they're not friends. Look, it's ne they have a negative relationship. Okay, he liked that. He liked that. So let's try again. Feed, feed him another treat. Aw, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits, Mr. Roboto. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Okay, he's going to give him a treat now. Does he like, did he like that? Oh, he liked that. He liked that. I don't, I'm not really 100% sure how to, I think they have to become friends with them and then they have an option to get bitten or something. I don't remember how to do a, a werewolf. Somebody remind me. Stroke your wolf. Oh, screenshot. Okay, we'll do a screenshot when he's stroking him. There we are. There we are. Let's get a screenshot of that. Ooh, that's a good one. The leader of the pack. Let me see if I can get another angle here. Okay, that's the best. I think that's the best angle I can get. Right there. <laughs> Let me put the walls up. Good, very good. <laughs> Be friends and then he will bite him autonomously. Oh, okay, thank you, Angel Art. Thank you. <laughs> they are so cute. I love the pets in The Sims 2. I really do. 
And then one day when you interact with it, it would bite you. Okay, okay. So we just have to keep, uh, we just have to keep stroking the wolf. <laughs> His name is Rambo. But Loki's getting very tired, but at least he has established this relationship. <laughs> stroking the beast. <laughs> Thank you, almost dead. Yes, I'm very excited about doing my new channel. I think it's gonna be really, uh, it's gonna be really helpful for me and I hope it's gonna be really helpful for other people as well. Okay, let's have you go to sleep. Go to sleep, my little werewolf man. <laughs> yeah, he needs to be up early. It's three in the morning. It's three in the morning. We're gonna let him sleep now. He's gotta go look for Bella tomorrow. Let's see, what's Cersei's schedule looking like? No, she has to work all week. She has to work all week, so it's gonna be Loki. Uh, thank you so much for the four month uh, tier one sub, Annie from Chile. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the 100 bits, Anonymous. Thank you guys. <laughs> oh, save game, thank you, yes, yes, I'm gonna save game. He wants to become a werewolf to chase Bella faster. Yes, that must be it. That must be it. <laughs> In French, the wolf can mean something else. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh no, the child. Oh, the kid's fine. Stop crying, kid. You're perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with you. Get out of the crib and play with your toys. Your outdoor toys that I had to put on the balcony. That's safe. The evil cow mascot in your game is named Cindy. Cindy Strickland. <laughs> I love it. Um, I've only tried to do a werewolf once and I never actually went through with it all the way because that was in my original Pleasant View where Bo was trying to become a, a werewolf. Okay, you're a little bit hungry, but you're okay. This kid is starving. Um, Loki's getting no sleep here. No, his hygiene is low. Is it supposed to be high or low, Mary? The hype train, that just means that, uh, people are donating and, uh, subbing. So depending on how many donations and subs I get, it gets up to a higher level. Vidkin would be cool as a vampire. He would. He kind of looks like he'd make a good vampire. <laughs> Cindy, stroke that wolflint. Um, I'm keeping an eye on Cersei because she's going to be getting up soon and she can feed the kid. Um. Aw, thank you, Alicia. Thank you. You got your nuts crossed for me, huh? It, it is kind of like the Spectre house because it has the same, uh, like, stone and, and kind of windows and stuff. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, Cersei, you got to get up. You got to feed your kid. Get her a bottle. She doesn't have to go to the bathroom yet. We're going to get this kid potty trained, I swear. He kind of looks like a 1970s serial killer. Vidkin does, yeah. He kind of does. But that's what I like about him. He's a weirdo. And I got a soft spot in my heart for fellow weirdos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Curious Brothers always want to be werewolves. Yeah, knowledge sims usually do. But it, to me, I only let very special knowledge sims become werewolves. And I think Loki, Loki definitely would. <laughs> okay, give the kid his bottle. Then you go to the bathroom. No, don't go to that bathroom. That's a kid's bathroom. You go here, take a shower. Um, let's get you some food. She wants to have fun. No, kid, you need some food. You need some food. I, you know what? You need to eat, okay? Go down here and I think there's some salad. That's what a child wants for breakfast is salad. Shrimp salad. I think it's shrimp salad. <laughs> He would do anything for power and forbidden knowledge. Yes, that's exactly it, Vigilanton. He'd be the perfect werewolf. We're gonna, so our next time we play this family, we're gonna be working on making him a werewolf. We are going to find Bella today, or we might have to manufacture a situation. You know what I'm saying? We might just have to give it a little bit of push, just a little push. We gotta make this happen, y'all. 
Because <laughs> in the next round, when we get back here, I want to work on Loki becoming a uh, werewolf. Shrimp salad sounds kind of delicious to you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for gifting a sub a triple consonant to Koki Konki. And thank you so much for the 100 bits, Derpy. <laughs> okay, here's little, here's little Adam. He's got to go to school in an hour. Once he eats, I'm going to actually pull his homework down here so maybe he can do a little bit of his homework. I do have a mod so that my Sims can get partial homework credit. So as long as he does some of it, he will get credit for that. Um, so we'll have him work on that after he finishes his, his breakfast of shrimp salad. Loki is still sleeping. He was up so late last night uh, with that werewolf dog. So we're going to let him sleep a bit longer. Cersei needs to go and get some food, though. Let's go get her. Let's get her fed because she's got to go to work today. So we're going to get some left. Get her some salad as well. Nobody's cooked in a long time here. We're just eating old salad from the fridge. <laughs> we have had no pink soup. Oh, my God, y'all. We've had no pink soup. None. None. Bye, God Warden. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, get your shrimp salad, honey. <laughs> I, I, I've heard of that mod, Karma Chris. The mod where it's a phone book and it, you can call anybody from it. I know that mod. I don't have it myself, though. I don't know what it's called. No tea posing. I know. Are we sad or are we happy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Vex. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I just use Sim Blender too. That's what I use. You've never been able to use that mod? It's an old one. It's an old one, isn't it? Oh, Hype Train complete at level two. Your community contributed a total of six sub gifts and 1,300 bits. Thank you so much, guys. It, it always doesn't work for what you want. Mm. No, it's not call anyone, or maybe it is called that. But there's another mod I have that lets you call anyone, but it's not the phone book one. Um, okay, they, she's got to go to work. Oh, he needs to. The school bus is here. Get out! You got at least a fifty percent on your homework. You got at least fifty percent done. Maybe a little bit over that. Maybe you'll get a D. No, don't put it upstairs. You're gonna miss the bus. Oh Lord, child. Loki's gonna have to wake up soon. I'm trying to let him sleep as long as possible. This kid's play. Oh, 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 Loki, get up, get up. We're gonna take the kid to the. We're gonna take the kid to the potty. This will be a, this will be a good good potty session. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't have the want anymore to potty train her. Oh well, we're gonna do it anyway. She wants to be potty trained. I love the pink emotes too. <laughs> No, Nate, don't feel sorry at all. That's, there's no, never feel sorry for making a suggestion like that. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. You didn't know how I was feeling, so don't feel guilty about that. Um, it's called Phase Phone Book on Mod The Sims. Oh, okay, good. Check that out. <laughs> you had a weird glitch where a teen male Sim was having an affair with his girlfriend. When she was his first and only girlfriend, he couldn't propose or go steady. That's weird. She almost made it. Did you guys see that? She almost made it. Actually, I think she's gonna age up today. I think we are gonna see her age up today. Yes, we're gonna get to see her as a child. I'm so excited. Um, but he really needs some food in the bathroom and a shower. Let's make sure the kid's okay. Uh, she's all right for now. So let's get him <laughs> taken care of here. Go to the bathroom. Take a shower and then get you. I think there's one plate of, sa of salad left. There's one last serving of delicious shrimp salad. <laughs> You're welcome, Nate. Yeah, I know it's great having Cersei in the chat. She's here with us. She's here with us. I know potty training drives me crazy when it gets right to the top and you're like, oh my God, seriously, they just needed to be on the toilet for like one more second. <sighs> drives you crazy. I should have made the kids some smart milk, but I didn't. So <laughs> that's where we're at. Bills are due 318 simoleons. Oh God. Eat your salad. 
Hi, Mr. Freezer Bunny. Too bad I can't feed coffee to her to make her bladder low. Yeah, I can't feed coffee to the toddler. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mouse So Wop, <laughs> for li linking the phone book in the Discord. It is. Yeah, that's perfect. That's a perfect way to say it, Max. Potty training is the equivalent of an application loading to 99% and then crashing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, hurry up and eat. We gotta go. Is the nanny here? Did the nanny show up today? Or not because it's his day off. And he, the nanny's tracking his schedule. So we're gonna have to actually call up the nanny and ask her to come over now. You're potty training your toddler too in real life. <laughs> Messy times, yes. Uh, I've never potty trained a child, but I can imagine. I can imagine. Uh, we're gonna call up the nanny. <laughs> And just for now, just come on over for now today on my day off. Because I got to go on the hunt. How is he still hungry? Okay, we'll just go get some food at the restaurant because we got to go. We got to go. Let's go. First, we'll go. Oh, let's take the car. And I'm also going to set the. I'm going to change owner. I'm going to make Loki the owner of this car. And we're going to go somewhere. He can go have some fun. We'll go to the pool first so we can get his fun up. Um, and then we'll go to the strip mall so he can get some food. And the whole time we'll be looking for Bella. Oh, I hate that too when they refuse to use the potty because they're too tired or hungry or something. Yeah. Usually when they're too tired, they won't use it. You cheat your toddler's bladder. <laughs> So then you can put them right on the toilet. <laughs> You're a little suspicious of those nannies knowing your schedules. <laughs> yeah, if you use the smart milk, yeah, you can. I don't know why I didn't use the smart milk. I, Loki is not in a good aspirate, or he's, he's only in the green. Usually I use the smart milk at least once and it doesn't take this long, but I've just done this the hard way. You have a default maid outfit of a pink shirt and leggings. Oh, I like that. I like that. I never cheat like that unless very rarely. Very, I can't think of a time I've ever cheated. I don't want to say never because I feel like I've probably done it before. But only if like it's not my fault what happened. Only if it's like a glitch or something that caused it. That's the only time I would cheat. If it's my fault, well, then we just have to deal with it. Okay, go ahead and swim, I guess. He wants to see a wolf and become a werewolf. He's really uh, obsessed with this. Okay, just go ahead and, and swim to get your fun up. And we'll keep an eye out for Bella today. Maybe we'll get lucky and today will be her day off and she'll show up. Hey, there's Nervous. We haven't seen him in a while. No, I don't have a mod for needs, no. I just make sure I give everybody their uh, aspiration benefit points, which I can't do here. Their aspiration reward points, and that helps with the needs. Abjeet is here. Uh, Gerald, Gerard, Gerard is everywhere. Holly Anderson, Paul is here. Edward, Edward Fuchs is everywhere. Quentin McCauley. Come on, Bella. We just need you to walk by one time. Okay, his fun's up enough, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go, we're gonna drive to another lot. She's not here, we're gonna go to the strip mall. Desert sand strip mall. Oh no! You just spent an hour cooking dinner just to get burned on the plate and drop everything on the stove? <gasps> That's awful. That's awful. I hate it when I do stuff like that. Uh, there's Johnny Smith. I swear, if she comes walking by as soon as he's like driving off, I'm gonna be so mad. I don't, I don't know why I keep expecting that to happen, but I just feel like that's my luck. Bella! Bella, where are you? Don't you dare walk by right now, Bella. Don't you dare! Okay, we made it. 
You want spilled food on your toes and burned them? <laughs> that sounds terrible. That sounds terrible. I burned my finger yesterday on accident. <laughs> you think they live there? Yeah. Thank you so much for the uh, five months at tier one, Ally Alien. Thank you so much. Mr. Pleasant was cooking a fried egg on the griddle and I like put my hand on the counter and like a, a like a splatter of hot like grease or butter or something landed on my finger and burned the crap out of me. And I got all mad. I was like, you burned me. <laughs> he was like, no, I didn't. <laughs> and then he put some burn cream on it and then it was fine. <laughs> Tina, we haven't seen Tina in a while. So there's a new Sim. Good parking spot, I know. He just parks right in the road. <laughs> he just parks right in the road. There's Tycho. Loki is here. Johnson. Let's get him some food, first of all. Does he want to buy new clothes? He does. Well, first you need to eat. Be seated at the counter. She knows she's being hunted, so she's hiding. I really think that's it. I really think that's it. Blair Mace is here. Uh, definitely some new people we haven't seen in a while. General Buzz. Margaret Howe is here. <sighs> no Bella, though. No Bella. <laughs> Somebody told her. Somebody tipped her off. <laughs> That's right, Cersei. Somebody tipped her off. <laughs> You hate when people park in the middle of the road like that. Loki's so inconsiderate. He doesn't care. Okay, Razor Waiter is here. Let's order Chef's Choice. Let's see what he orders today. Probably the prawns. I think that's his favorite dish. Two red dresses, what a tease. <laughs> Razor Waiter told her. He probably did. Razor Waiter, we're going to take you. We're going to take you instead, you weirdo. Professor, what? Who? What? What the hell? Why is there a professor walking by? That is weird. There should be a professor here. Professor? That's odd. That's very odd. Townie's gaining some titles. <laughs> it happens to you all the time. I should ban uni NPCs. Yeah, I think I will do that. I I thought that they wouldn't, that I had like mods to prevent that, but I guess not. We'll uh, ban the uni NPCs here. I've never had to do that before. So that's weird. That is odd. Hey, what did he order? Did he order his prawns again? Yeah, that's his favorite dish. That's what he gets every time he goes out. You had the pollination technician walk by one time? Whoa, I've never seen that. Yeah, I wouldn't touch him either. There's Renee Andrews. <sighs> Come on, Bella. Come on. Come on, Maya. I know you have to go to the store and buy your groceries or something. <laughs> After he eats his food, I guess we'll go buy him some new clothes. <laughs> if we don't find her today, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it. I wanted it to happen naturally, but the game is not cooperating with me. It's not cooperating. Ban everyone except Bella. Let's <laughs> see if she shows up. I wonder, can I do that? Hold on. No, because then it'll get rid of... I don't want it to get rid of, like, the employees and stuff. Terrifying Tycho showed up twice, but no sign of Bella. Are you done eating? He did, but you know what? He's still hungry, so let's order again. Wait, come back. Come back, Razor Waiter. I want more food. I'm still hungry. <laughs> When he comes back, I'm going to order. He needs some more food. And that gives us more time to stay here, too, and look for Bella. Just just Renee Andrews. That's it. 
I don't know what her job is, so no, I can't find out her working hours. I don't even know what her job is. Thank you, Razor Waiter, for giving... Let, let's order a dessert. Let's order a cake. No, crepe Suzette. No, nectarine tartlet. Nectarine tartlet, please. I need my dessert, sir. Get your shards in the kitchen and bring me a nectarine tartlet. <laughs> we still haven't found her, no. We still haven't found her. I know, we're going to have to take Razor Waiter instead. Okay, I'm going to speed through this. Eat your nectarine. Eat your nectarine. No, it's just Renee Andrews just keeps walking by, back and forth, back and forth. You feel like Bella should marry Razor Waiter? Maybe he can save her from the clutches of the beakers. Okay, that you're almost done. And then we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Nectarine tar tartlet sliced, not scored. <laughs> Like, I don't want to zoom in too long because I'm afraid she's going to walk by. So that's why I keep zooming out. And you're not getting any new clothes, Loki. Too bad. Too bad. It's time for you to go. We got to make this happen. Uh, pay your bill now. 31 simoleons. And let's go home. Drive home. <laughs> yeah, Loki's having dinner with his sister. Yeah, there's Aaron. I guess they met up to have dinner. There's Kristen Law. See, I'm seeing more people that I haven't seen. Yeah. Tiffany Riley. Still no Bella, though. No sign of her. No sign of her to be found. Okay, get, go pay your bill. Control shift C, Bella gets summoned. <laughs> if only. Nah, he's not going to buy clothes today. He's not going to buy clothes because he has to go home. Well, I guess we could. Uh, he can buy clothes anytime. <laughs> Imagine Bella paying Renee to walk by in a Bella goth wig to fool Loki. <laughs> Maybe that was Bella disguised as Renee. She's like, I need to dress up like another townie and walk by so they don't know it's me. <laughs> right, he's going home now. And we're just going to have to, like, teleport her over into the front of the house. And pretend we didn't. <laughs> just put Loki in a Bella Goth wig. That won't, hurt, that won't help our cause, though. <laughs> Kristen coming to steal your lobster thermidor. <laughs> it must be Bella. I will settle for none other. I will settle for no other than the original Bella. Everybody's gone too. And if Bella walks by this house, I swear, I'm gonna stop and do something. I don't know what I'll do. Okay, the maid's done. We're just waiting. We're just waiting, biding our time. That's Johnny Smith. Adam is horsing around with some classmates one afternoon. Oh, he takes home the 150 Simoleon Player of the Year reward. Okay, I need to write that in my spreadsheet so I remember that he has 150 we can put in his bank account. And I need to write start bank account. Okay, they did not try for baby either. That was old. That was old news. Edward Fuchs is walking by. <laughs> the toddler. That's what I was thinking. We'll have the toddler go talk to her. Adam's grades are slipping. I already knew that because he only did half his homework. Come on, come on. Yo. But he's home. Yo. He's home. He's all right. He needs fun really bad. Okay, he wants to jump rope. So let's have him. No, don't. Whatever I click, don't do that. Oh, no, never mind. He doesn't want to jump rope anymore. But he doesn't want to gain a skill point. So, I don't know. Watch TV. Watch TV. Why can't I click on the TV? Oh, it's broken. Um, well, your hobby is science. 
Does that mean you, can you make, can the child make medicine? I don't know if that's gonna be fun for him. I don't know what to do, kid. Just do something for fun. I can't, here, play with your toys. <laughs> the bus driving to the crater. <laughs> it's always Edward Fuchs, always, always. Well, now at least Adam's home. So if Bella did walk by, he could go talk to her and keep her here as a child. It's just going to be children walking by. Uh, there's another child. This is Judy Smith. That's little Judy. Judy, 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 Jude. <laughs> Cute little Judy. Kids are so independent, they can even make medicine. <laughs> he wants to, I want to have him do something fun that allows him to gain a skill point. He needs to stargaze, but it's still daytime. Oh, Abjit Cho. She's the cat. She's secretly the cactus outside. She's been here all along. Uh, okay, Cersei's home. So you know what? Cersei's about to take matters into her own hands. She is like, Loki... <laughs> the beaker kid working on a covid vaccine <laughs> thank you so much uh for the tier one sub etain thank you very much uh shout out from nathan to returning let's plays which ones can we expect i'm not sure yet nathan um but i do think i'm going to bring back my old pleasant view i think i don't want to promise anything yet because i haven't 100 percent decided um, but if I do, it'll I'll probably do something differently, like make it to make it more accessible to new people, because nobody wants to like pick up on episode seventy, which I think I'm on. So I'd probably like start it fresh, like Pleasant View, the next generation, and kind of like introduce it like a new Let's Play, so it'd be more accessible for people. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Uh. I just don't like Veronaville that much. I don't know. Maybe I just need to get in there and play more. Um, but we'll see. And I, I want to do some other like shorter things. So I'm not 100% sure, but um, I'm going to start putting out stuff next week. So you'll know soon. Okay, let's take care of this kid. Use the bathroom, take a bath. And Cersei, okay, what I was going to say about Cersei is she is about to take matters into her own hands. She left it up to Loki for two days to go out and search for Bella. He didn't find her. And she's like, Loki, I'm sick of your incompetence, okay? I am going to do this myself. Because you obviously cannot do it. You cannot get Bella. So I'm going to get her myself. I'm going to use this new thing. It's called a Sim Blender. <laughs> it's called a Sim Blender. Uh, and... She learned how to summon. She learned how to summon. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. So they didn't find Bella. They didn't technically find Bella for the prediction. It's going to have to be no. Yeah. Because I'm doing this. So she, they didn't find her. Um, so it's going to be no for the prediction. I'm sorry. We have like, oh, no. Is the kid aging up? It's 6 p.m. Oh crap, it's time for the kid to age up. Hold on. <gasps> Hold on. Uh, go pick up, go. Let's see. She's gonna be aging up like any minute now, so we also have to deal with that. You know what, go put her on the toilet. The kid grows up badly. Not if we can get her on the toilet right now. <laughs> I just say turlet unironically now. That's just what that's just how I refer to the toilet now. <laughs> She's gonna age up well if we get her potty trains. Come on, get her on there. Get her on there. Yes, potty train, potty train. Potty train this child. This is gonna do it. This is gonna do it. No, what do you mean? Why did you get a what? No, get back on there. Get back on there. Oh no, she aged up. No. Oh no. She aged up, look. She aged up bad. She aged up badly. Oh, 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 yeah. 
she aged up badly, so she looks exactly like her brother. Oh no. So she had a rough, she's gonna have a rough life. Ooh. I can see series is like, oh boy. Um, she's very interesting looking, isn't she? She's quite, she looks like Loki. She looks like Loki. <laughs> she looks like Loki. She's cute, I like her, I like her, Ooh. I like her. I like her just how she is. She's beautiful on the inside and the outside. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I can see her totally having a bad childhood and with uh, Adam being the golden child and then she's gonna be the forgotten second middle child. Middle if they have another. And I can see her like breaking away and not being anything like this family. And I'm pretty sure she's definitely nicer than them. No, Adam is very, very nice. Maybe both of the kids are going to break out of here. Maybe both of the kids are going to break away from this because Adam is like super, super nice. Um, She's nice, but she's mostly neat and active. And she did not get potty trained. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Okay, go. Go use the bathroom. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with that. And I also want to see what she's wearing. We need to see what kind of clothes she's wearing. Series has hit rock bottom. She's hit rock bottom, y'all. She might feel pressure to impress her parents and end up becoming like them. That is a good point, Max. She might. She might. She was 99% pooped. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for the uh, uh, tier one sub. Let's get crunk 69. <laughs> So close to being potty trained, I swear. So I want to see what clothes she's wearing real quick. Okay, she wants to, you know what? Get out, kid. Just go, I want to see your clothes. You can bathe later. You're already at rock bottom. Who cares if you stink too? Oh, she's got a really cute little outfit on though. That's a cute little outfit. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well because it's kind of dark. That's definitely fake peeps. Fake peeps outfit. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. She can keep that for sure. Um, and then I'll send her over here. This is like the kid's bathroom. She can go take a bath in there. And let's check on Adam. <sighs> he still needs fun. I know how you can get fun, child. Go play games. And now, Cersei, back to the task at hand. She is going to use this new contraption, which actually I think I'll put this in the secret room because this can be like a, another one of their secret inventions. No, go down, go down. She's gonna summon Bella Goth over here. <laughs> We're gonna teleport. Uh, she's under a body. Well, there she is. There she is. So I'm gonna actually put her outside because I feel like that's more realistic. Very secret room. It's very secret right now. And then we'll have Cersei, after she gets off the turlet, come over here and chat with her. Just, just give her a little chat. It's a little chat. No, the prediction and the answer is no because they did not find her. I summoned her, but they did not find her. Oh, Loki got home just in time, too. Uh, so let me do that. Let me do the prediction. Sorry, guys. The answer's no. 51% uh, said no. I'm going to choose outcome. No. There you go. Yeah, she was at work the whole time. That is a work outfit. Yep. It's an all-powerful godlike machine with phenomenal cosmic abilities, but it looks like a normal houseplant. Genius. <laughs> Thank you, Max. That was wonderful. But no, the nanny's leaving uh, when Loki gets home. I think. She should. We're going to dismiss her anyway. And Cersei is going to go and chat with Bella. And Bella is never, never going to be seen again. 
Bella's never going to be seen again. We're going to add her to the family. No, go chat with her. Adam wants to clean his parents' mess. Go chat. What is happening? Now you're... She's trying to, she's like running away. She's like, no, no, I'll just go over here. No, what are you doing? No, don't relax. Oh my God, are they trying to go? I canceled it before I realized that they were trying, <laughs> they were trying to go. Okay, I'll let it go. I'll let it go and see what happens. Okay, maybe not. No, never mind. It's over. It's over. No, no, he's going up. Bella's just gonna be here in the hallway. Pay no attention to her. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna lock her in here. Oh, good. She can't get out. She's in. She's in there. So we can pay attention to this. No, what are you doing? Nobody's cooperating with me. Okay, so you don't want to woohoo anymore. You've got Bella down here. Um, you gotta go chat with her right now. Now she's going to relax again. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna make her selectable yet until Cersei. Cersei hasn't completed her plan yet. She hasn't talked to her yet. Um, okay, so these two are gonna do something. Let's see if they're, I bet they're gonna try for baby. Oh my god, are they gonna try for baby? Loki really wanted that woohoo, yeah. Casual makeout. Let's check out let's check on the children. He's tired, she's fine. Oh, he's playing. Casual makeout. You need to come upstairs and go to sleep. And relax. All they did was a makeout? <laughs> Excuse me for a second, Bella. I need to go woohoo with my husband, then I'll be right back. Just stay here in the secret room. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Casual, okay, they're just doing a casual woohoo. They're just doing a casual woohoo. They're not doing an actual try for baby. This kid has nowhere to sleep. We need to get her a bed. We definitely need to get her a bed, hold on. Um, we'll just get you a cheap little bed for now with a, let me see what kind of bedding we want to get. She likes the color like purple. She liked purple, I think. Perfect. Um, let's get rid of the crib and put the bed. We don't need the that anymore. I'm just going to move it there for right now. We don't need the potty chair anymore. <laughs> we don't need this. We don't need that. We don't need any of that stuff anymore. Um, this will be her room now. Maybe I'll move your bed over here. No. There's really no good place to put a bed in here. I'll just put it right there. Okay, and you can go to sleep now. So I don't have to deal with you anymore. Just go to sleep. Go to sleep. We have other things to deal with here. Nudist subject. <laughs> I know she doesn't have any toys. I know. It's really sad. You see how much our parents care about that. Okay, no, you are not going to sleep. You've got Bella down here. She's trying to get out. She's like, you've left me in this room. What the hell? Um, let's go have a chat with her. Go have a chat. <laughs> her her room has only arches. Oh, does it? We'll have to put doors in. Yes, I know, Bella. I know, but you're never getting out of here. Just so you know, you're never getting out. Okay. There she goes. There she goes. There she goes. Yeah, so Mata. She's talking to him about Loki. She's like, you'll really like my husband. You'll get to meet him tomorrow. Um, okay, so now we're gonna do the now we're gonna do the deed so she stops this because it's really annoying. So Cersei just told her 
You're never getting out of here. You are our, you are ours now. Oh, we need to add to family somehow. We need to, oh, I need to use Simblender. Family, Bella got, or no, move in, Bella. She's one of us now. She's one of us. <laughs> yes, Bella's like, let me leave. No, you're never going home. You're never going home now. Play catch, no. Um, I just wanted to look, oh, she had a little bit of romance with Gerard Landry. Sorry, Bella. That's over with. That's over. And her job was an executive level five. She's gonna have to quit her job because um, she can't be going to work. She's here now. This is where she lives. I was thinking I should put down here, like I don't think there should be, I don't think she should have all this stuff. Maybe a bookshelf. But I don't think a stereo and a computer, I definitely don't think they would give her access to a computer. You know, I really don't. I really don't think they would give her access to a computer at all. We'll just put that right out here. She can have a bookshelf for entertainment and we'll give her, let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of these first of all. Um, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> She's got a couple plants. Let's get her a dresser and some lights. What kind of dresser? Just a, just a dresser like this is fine. A cheap dresser. And we'll give her a wardrobe. Sometimes Cersei might want her to dress nice. <laughs> so she's gonna have a wardrobe for her clothes. And I'm gonna recolor this to a better color. Not red, not that red. I think just like a plain white. That's what you get. I thought I had recolors of that, but I don't. I think there's another one I have recolors of. Do -do 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 -do. Is this it? Yeah. No, that's just a dresser. That's just a dresser. Where's the wardrobe? Where's the wardrobe that I have recolors of? I don't. That seems not right. I swear I have recolors of these wardrobes, but they're not showing up for some reason. Um, okay, then you just get a dresser. Whatever. I tried. I tried my best. See? Okay, I definitely have recolors of this. That is weird. Hmm. Why are none of my recolors showing up? Do, 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 do. These are, so I'll just use that one. Um, so that's her life now. That's her whole life. Oh, let's give her a light. We'll give her one lamp. And oh, also, I'm gonna put a toilet down here. I feel so cruel. <laughs> But it's not me, it's the beakers, okay? Just remember that. Remember that. No, I don't want that light either. What lamp do I want? That'll work. There's the lamp and like this is too much, too much stuff. I don't think they wish she would have that. I don't think she would have a mirror either or anything glass. This is what she has and then also we're gonna put, no, not that, not decoration. We're gonna put a toilet. I just hope the family doesn't come down here and try to use the toilet. They probably will. Everybody's gonna poop in this toilet now. And we'll give her a sink. You can bathe in that sink. That's all she has. Oh yeah, some, some other kind of bookshelf. That's a good point. Let's see. Uh, we'll give her a small one, too. There. <laughs> that's, that's your life now, Bella. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But that doesn't mean that she won't break out like Nervous did and have a life of her own in the future. 
This is just how we're introducing her to the neighborhood. <laughs> we could give her a pay uh, an easel. I'll see what her hobby is. Um, but for now, we're just going to give her that. And I don't know. They're going to have to bring her food. They're going to have to bring food to her. So she definitely, uh, we have to make sure that this is locked for her. Okay, it doesn't let me lock it. Um, all right, she needs to use the toilet, so let's bring her down here. This is your new home, Bella. <laughs> she needs to break out and find herself in Pleasant View. Who knows, maybe they'll get her memories back. Check her memories. She's got the memory of meeting a bunch of people. She kissed Gerard, and that's it. She went to college, apparently. I guess she didn't graduate, though. And I'm gonna... She's gonna just... She can't go to sleep. Well, she's gonna have to. Go to sleep. Okay, let me check in on Cersei. Cersei needs some food. Um, bread. Get yourself some bread. Cersei's like, I'm not cooking. I'm gonna serve bread. <laughs> Her name needs to be changed to Amnesia Subject. <laughs> we're gonna do something i don't know what i don't know what yet no we have no food what no oh okay we better call and, and order food call delivery it's midnight we gotta get food delivered yeah she's a romance sim mm -hmm. okay we're gonna order groceries we need groceries also their bills are due Okay, 648 simoleons worth of groceries, please. That is a lot of freaking groceries. That's like more money than I spend in a month on groceries. And we gotta pay those bills. Oh, that is not a hacked computer. You can't pay bills on it. Pay those bills. Pay those bills, Cersei. Is there a way to make Sims change towns in The Sims 2? No. Um... The only thing you could do is like extract their likeness and put them in a different neighborhood, but it wouldn't be the same sim. Like they wouldn't have the same memories and stuff. Bella and Loki should have an affair. That'd be hilarious if they did. We have to get him to meet her and see what he thinks. Pay bills. Accept your delivery, please. You gotta go to sleep. She's starving though. Or that, yeah, they can move into a subhood. That's true. They can move into a subhood. They just can't move from like Pleasantville to Strange Town or something like that. Pleasant View. Did I say Pleasantville? Pleasant View to Strange Town. Make Bella a witch and have her put spells on the wicked beakers. <laughs> I like that. Now cook. Um, have some bread. She just bought a, a fresh loaf of banana bread. Serve that bread. Yeah, I said Pleasantville. <laughs> it's the name of that movie, yeah. It is. I'm pretty sure there's somewhere in the Prima Guide that calls it Pleasantville, too. You want to see what Bella and Loki's offspring would look like? Probably be weird. She's thinking about that woohoo with Loki. Did you see that? He's like, that was some good woohoo. Loki, Loki really knows what he's doing in the stack. <laughs> All right, let's get her to bed. And then this is, it's already spring, so it's time to go. It's time to leave this house behind, y'all. Okay, let's save. All right. <laughs> Oh, it's Strange Town. Oh, that's what it is, Fumus. Thank you. It's Strange Town. They called Strangeville. Okay. I knew there was a Ville in there. <laughs> okay, let's see here. There's no safe way to move Sims to another neighborhood with all their memories and personalities. The only way you could do it is if you gave them back all their memories and personalities. But if you do, if you do it, you can. It'll cause corruption. Okay, so we're going out. We're going out to the neighborhood. 
it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood, a wonderful day. Let me uh, mark that I played the beakers and now guess who's next? Guess who's next? It's the Smiths. It's the Smiths. <laughs> Where are you Smiths? There they are. And so we have Paul, Jenny, Jill, and twins, Jade and Judy. So I think the twins are gonna be aging up to teens very soon. More baby making time. I don't think, I don't think she has enough time to have another baby. Yeah, corruption doesn't show up right away. If you if you've corrupted your game, you could play it for months, years even. It just dep it depends on what you've done and uh, how you play. Oh, she wants to have 10 children. That's right. That's right. Oh god. Okay, let's see. Everybody's in platinum here and he wants to have 10 children. Oh my god. <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor? Um, how much time does she have left? I don't know why I keep going over there. I'm used to The Sims 3 after I played The Sims 3 last. She's got 12 days until she becomes an elder. Uh, we're definitely going to lock that in. She wants to have another baby, so we're going to have to try for baby like immediately. He also wants a grandchild, which he has. I guess he wants another. Yeah, Paul already has six. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that they have the fertility thing. Yeah, super fertility. I need to give him another couple points. She's got super fertility. So there's another a chance that we'll have multiples again. She had twins last time. Her secondary is romance. I don't like that. And we need to give you yours. You have popularity. We'll go ahead and give her the popularity tree, even though she's a teen. Why not? Take it. Um, and I just want to check and see everybody's ages. So Paul still has, he's 65 days old. Um, she is, she's going to become an adult. Oh my God. We got to send her to college. I'm not ready. She fears having a baby. She also wants it. She also wants it. Don't worry, she'll be able to, she's gonna have to adopt, but she doesn't have to adopt right now. No, nope, I'm gonna I'm gonna try for baby right now because she wants it. I don't care if she fears it, she wants it. <laughs> she may not wanna go to college, that's true. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, so the first time that we sent our Sims to college in Strange Town, I didn't have any dormies in the college and it was just like so dead. So I regret that decision and I want to re-add Strange Town with the uh the Strange Town University. What is it? Lafayette Tech with the dormies. Yeah. She's indecisive. <laughs> so that they actually have Sims to interact with while they're there. Um so I'm not ready for her to go. But that's okay. We only have 20 minutes left in the stream, so I can probably avoid it. And then the girls, oh, they just became children. They just became children, so we still have seven days until they become teens. But uh, Jill here will be moving out. She wants to sneak out with Kendall? Really? Uh, oh, excuse me. But she is, she's in a relationship with Buck. I don't know how she feels about Kendall. She's also friends with Tycho and Kendall. Oh, Kendall is a girl. I thought Kendall was a boy. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah, the pre-maids are going to be in there. The university pre-maids are going to be in there. <laughs> How's the cat after the big ball? He's fine. He's absolutely fine. Uh, but the, so the first thing we're going to do with this family is we're going to have these two try for baby as soon as possible. She also wants to invite someone over and talk and be friends with Ishmael. Aw, that's sweet. 
And, but everybody's asleep right now. It's 4.31 a.m. And so we have a full four days with this family. We're, obviously, we're not going to get through that today. We're not going to get through very much at all today. And yeah, we also have to see if Jill wants to go to college or not. She may just want to age up. We'll see what she rolls when she wakes up. Today is the day that she gets to make the decision. So when I'm playing my Sims, I only let them go to college if they roll the want on the day of their 18th birthday. That gives them plenty of time to think about it and decide if they want to go or change their mind. And if she doesn't roll it by 6 p.m., then she doesn't go to college. She just ages up. Oh, Jenny's got to go to work. Jenny, wake up. You got to go to work. She probably has a lot of vacation days. She has three. Uh, just wake up and go to the bathroom and I guess get some food. Oh, we still have the birthday cake from the girls' party over here. You know, I wish the birthday cake would, like, stay good longer than it does. Uh, is she on birth control? She might- Oh, that's right! Okay. Yes. When my sims fear having a baby, I put them on birth control. So actually, she might be on birth control? Let's see. Where do I do? Oh, I need the, it's from here. Sim settings. Pregnancy? Birth control's off. I'm about to turn birth control on. So she's on birth control until she no longer fears having a baby. So that's how I handle birth control. So she may not get to have another baby, depending on if she rerolls those fears. Yeah. She can adopt, yes. Uh, but we're gonna wait and see if she gets if she keeps that fear or not. I know. I wish you could put the birthday cake in the fridge too, or at least I think it should stay good for a day or two on the table. <laughs> you know, let's check in on the girls. Uh, this one's asleep, but it's six a.m. So you can go ahead and wake up. And I think we did their rooms. Yeah, they're sharing a room here. Go to sleep. What kind of parent just lets? A child go hungry. Judy, skin and bones. Judy! Judy eats. She's having an instant meal. It does for you. What lets you put it in the... In the fridge? I, I like it when they... When sometimes when my sims don't want to go to college. Because I feel like if not, I would send everybody to college. And not everybody would want to go. So I sometimes like it when some of my Sims don't want to, but it usually it's usually always the ones that I think would want it would should go. Okay, go get your leftovers. I know you're up there checking yourself out in the mirror. She's got to make sure that she's beautiful <laughs> to go to school today. She's got to make sure she's looking good. This is her last day of school. <laughs> the cake stays good for a full day. I think it should stay good for like two or three days. Yeah, that's true. You can put it in the inventory, but I don't know. I don't like doing that. It just doesn't feel doesn't feel right to me. This kid's just having a poor instant meal for breakfast. It's so sad. Okay, Paul is awake now. He's going to get some food. Oh, he's going to serve eggs Benedict. Okay. I'll take that. And Jenny's off to work, so we'll have to wait till Jenny gets home from work um at 2 p.m that's perfect because she'll be home in time for jill to either move out or age up and we'll have to wait till she gets home before we try for baby obviously and jill's eating cold leftover pancakes i don't keep cake in my pocket no Um, I don't know about your glitch that you're having with community time. It's obviously that sounds like a, um, a conflict to me. I don't know what it's conflicting with though, but it's conflicting with something. I am really happy guys. We have not had any pink soup. We have not had any crashes. I guess ter uh, changing back or uninstalling the latest windows update worked for me. It worked. Unless... The problem is Nutley itself. I guess we'll find out on Monday. <laughs> You've had a glitch where your Sims gone for a full 24 hours, but they do eventually come back. Wow. Uh, 
Paul's got a, w a ways. He's got a way. He's not even halfway through his elder years, so he's got time. What are you doing? You want to do your homework? You don't have to worry about your homework. You don't have to worry about that. This is your last day of school. Nobody cares. <laughs> Aw, uh, thank you so much for the Prime sub, Uwuizza. <laughs> thank you. No, it's not custom hoods in general. Somebody left a comment, uh, and I think they had a really good point on my stream playback, and they said maybe it's because there are so many trees in Nutley. And I thought, that's a good point. That could be the problem. That could be the whole freaking problem. Um, so I'm going to look into that too, but we're going to try to play Nutley on Monday. I'll, I'll remove the trees and we'll try it again. Let's put away uh, a single place because those trees can eat up a lot of your texture memory. Yeah, that's an, it only, that's, uh, that dish only works for the, uh, eggs Benedict, but I like it too. When there are a lot of them, Yeah. Yeah, Derpy. Whenever I was making my first ever custom hood, I was doing it on stream. I know some of you guys remember. Max, Max you were there. And I had so many of the linden trees in there that it crashed the game. So yeah, it definitely they definitely can do that. And I took out a bunch of those trees too. I don't know if that's the case or not, but we'll see. Aw, uh, thank you so much for the six month uh, resub, Lenny Mousy. Thank you so much. Yeah, my linden, my linden neighborhood. Uh-huh. Yep. So, so, so long ago. When I was just a little baby. Little babby YouTuber. The hometown of Anthony, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, Paul, what are you going to do with your... All of your... All of your girls are gone. What are you going to do with your life today? All he wants to do is family stuff. So I guess just do whatever you want. Um... Oh, another transient Sherpa has wandered in through the hospital's emergency entrance with a llama. Both the Sherpa and the llama are screaming, and Jenny is able to understand neither of them. Jenny is the only one on duty right now. Should she examine the Sherpa or the llama? The llama. Oh, she got 5,000 simoleons! Yes! Yes! 5,000 simoleons! Thank you! We will take it. Thank you very much. Oh, and I want to look here. She has not rolled. Wants to go to college. So we'll see what she rolls when she gets home. <laughs> Heck yeah. They have 8,000 simoleons now. And you know what? I might actually not even make Jenny move out. If Jenny ages, or Jill, I'm sorry. If Jill ages up, I always call Jill Jenny and Jenny Jill. I get their, I get their names mixed up. If Jill just wants to age up and doesn't want to go to college, I'll probably just let her keep living here. Like, I feel like this is the kind of family that would not just boot out their child when they turned 18, you know? I feel like she would still keep living at home, maybe try to get a job, try to get her life together. I don't think that they would kick her out. So she'll probably just stay here, actually. You want to make a mountain town of Sherpas and llama herders? Yes, yes. A <laughs> future child named Jill Jenny. She'd be a free Danny. That's true. That's true. She could she could earn her keep around here. <laughs> yeah, that's a mod that allows you. It's called Watch TV Anywhere. I think it's on Mod The Sims. Yeah, I definitely think she would stay. And she's not like really prepared for the real world very much. She's been kind of spoiled and sheltered. <laughs> so I think she would stay at home. All right, I'm just going to speed this up. Paul is doing nothing. Let's have him go get some lunch. Go get some lunch, Paul. You had her move in with Buck. Yeah, that's a good idea. Buck will still be a teenager when she ages up, but maybe when we get around to him, if they want to get married or something, yeah, they can definitely move in together. Um, Have some of that, whatever that is. Paul's hobby is, I don't know. Oh, it's film and literature. It's film and literature. And does, does he have a sub hobby? Let me check. Reading. His hobby's reading. Um, so we'll have him go read a book after he finishes eating his lunch. While he waits on everybody to get home. Wait, do we have a bookshelf? Where's the bookshelf? Oh yeah, it's in the it's in this room. <laughs> read book. Uh read a mystery book. Read a mystery book. 
He's just gonna read, just pass the time, pass the days away. <laughs> until the girls get home. So we have about an hour and 20 minutes before uh, Jill gets home. Jenny, Jenny gets home. Jill is home now. Jill is home. So many J names, I can't keep up with them. Uh, Jill brought a friend home from school. She brought home Edward Fuchs. He literally is everywhere. Edward Fuchs is everywhere. <laughs> okay, Edward. And she has not rolled any wants to go to college. So let's see if we can, f her hobby is also film and literature. Um, it's actually watching movies and TV. So this is perfect. We're going to have her go watch a movie. Um, watch a drama. Maybe Edward can join you and that will get her to re-roll. Maybe she'll roll go to college. If not, I guess we'll start planning her birthday party. Oh, she thinks Edward is hot. Oh God. I saw that. I saw that. Um, nope. She just wants to grow up. She does not want to go to college, y'all. She she just wants to grow up. Be friends with Harper. Be friends with Edward. We'll talk to him. Don't just sit there in awkward silence watching a movie. There you go. He's talking to her. He's like, it's time for you to age up today. You're going to be a fine looking woman. <laughs> That's what I imagined he told her. Yeah, we're going to do a birthday party. It, she does still have four hours. It's true. Um, but just in case, I'm going to have her go ahead and set up the birthday party. Uh, call third party birthday. I don't think she's going to want to go to college. She wants to throw a party and grow up well. So to me, that says she's ready to age up. She's ready to have her 18th birthday party and age up. Um, let's see, which I'm actually okay with. It makes sense to me. Not every Sim goes to college and I like that. So we're going to invite Tycho, of course. Um, we're going to invite Buck, of course and Kendall, her friend Kendall, and Johnny Smith. And I guess that's everybody we're gonna invite. <laughs> That'll be good enough. That'll be good enough. I don't think her parents want her to, oh, she wants to woohoo. No, her parents don't care if she goes to college or not, so. Everything's this is this is how it's going. This is how it's going here. Now. She wants to have a great party Let's get her a birthday cake And we could probably age her up before the end of the stream That'll be fun <laughs> Family sims don't usually want to go to college, but they always want their children to yeah <laughs> Nobody here wants her to go to college. Like, nobody in the family. Everybody's like, stay here and be a free nanny. Oh, you don't like your birthday cake? I'm so sorry. <laughs> she didn't like it. She's, he's trying to tell her. What? <gasps>
she was about to woohoo with Edward. And I was like, what? You can't do that. Oh, she just became uh, good friends with Tycho. She's going to talk to Edward, though. She definitely thinks he's hot. <laughs> Fluid lost. <laughs> so there's little Jade. I get Jade and Judy mixed up. And there's Floyd. And let's check on... Oh, look, she no longer fears having a baby. She no longer fears having a baby. We're getting her off birth control. We're getting her off birth control. Pregnancy. Birth control is off. Um, so they can and she, and she wants to woohoo. And she wants to woohoo. So we're gonna do that. But first we have to age up Jill. <laughs> Tycho kissed somebody? What? Who? A fam did he do a family kiss? Did he get do a family kiss? I don't know. I didn't see him kiss anybody. Okay, so we are going, since she wants to have a great party, she wants to grow up well, still no indication that she wants to go to college. So we're going to go ahead and get her over here to blow out the candles. She's out there talking to Edward. She's playing rock, paper, scissors with Edward. Do not play rock, paper, scissors. This is your special day. Aw, look at Buck playing with little Floyd. Okay, gather round, guys. The birthday is here. The day has come. Jill is becoming an adult, a grown woman. Uh, Johnny also didn't go to college, but Buck might want to go to college. And if so, he's going to have to go and then she's going to have to wait on him to get back or move on. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, pleasant life is already taken. Somebody suggested that. I thought it was a really good uh, idea, but that name is already taken. So I can't do it. I don't know who has it. Yeah. A lot. It's really hard to find a good name anymore. Because most things are taken on social media. Oh my god, are you serious? We get to see the refrigerator. We missed the whole age up. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, who are we going to age up with her? We'll age up Kendall with her. We'll age up Kendall. Kendall is her friend. Okay. Kendall, you got to age up too. Now, let's see how she turned out. Okay, we're going to have to do something about that shirt and pants. Uh, but she looks exactly the same. <laughs> she looks exactly the same. Come here. Come here, let's look at you. Aww, she's she's really cute. She's really cute. Um, I like her pants, but we're gonna have to change her shirt though. Well, it's it's not the the problem that it's a midriff. It's a problem that it's an un it's an untucked shirt, so it just cuts off, and I don't think that looks very good. So we're gonna get her a different shirt that'll look better with those pants. Um, she is a teen idol. She gained the aspiration of teen idol. And now she and Buck are still going to be in a, in a romantic relationship, but nothing's really going to happen too much between them until he ages up. And now also I want to get Jenny <laughs> to try for baby. She's already kissing him tenderly. Get in here. Relax. Oh my gosh, the girls have... Do the, oh, we still have cribs. I was like, do the girls have nowhere to sleep? But they do. Um, but we got to try for baby. I know it's your daughter's birthday party, but... You can step out for a minute. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, her she's a family sim. Her lifetime want is to have six grandchildren. I think that's a good one for her. We'll let her keep that. Her hobby's watching movies. Oh, wait, no, that was the wrong sim. <laughs> that was the wrong sim, I'm sorry. She's a popularity sim. Don't listen to me. She's a popularity sim. See, I told you I get Jill and Jenny mixed up. My God. And her lifetime wish is become icon level 10, which I don't know if that's going to stay her lifetime want because I, I base it, I base their lifetime want on their actual ones. The lifetime ones are just randomly generated. So I have no, no problem changing those. We're going to watch and see if she wants to get an actual job or what she wants to do. And then I will change her lifetime want based on that. One of the twins found out her hobby. Oh, Jade. 
Jade, Jade's hobby is sports. Okay, guys, let me write this down. Uh, Jade's hobby is sports. And then we have to roll for that too. We have to roll for that too, hold on. Um, so for sub hobbies, sports, I have uh, four different ones we can choose from, baseball, football, soccer, or basketball. So I'm gonna roll one through four. Um, let me roll, <coughs> let me pull up random.org. I'm gonna roll one through four real quick. And I rolled a two, two. So she is football. She's a girl who loves football. That's gonna be her hobby. Are they playing football right now? No, they're playing baseball. Um, her hobby is football though. So that'll be easy enough. That'll be easy enough. <laughs> okay, and now these two are gonna go relax. No, no, you gotta get out of there, Jill. Jill, Jill, get out. She was trying to go relax in the bed. Oh my God, Jill. You know what? You're an adult now. You're an adult now. We could get you a, a double bed. Her room is so cute though how it is. I don't even know if a double bed will fit in there. I don't think a double bed will fit in there. Well, too bad. Too bad. <laughs> Maybe we'll give her a couch. We'll give her a couch. That's what we'll do. Look, we'll move this over here. Um, I don't even think a couch is gonna fit in there. You know what? We'll put a couch in the spare room. That's what we'll do. <laughs> we'll put a couch in the spare room. We'll put a hideous blue couch over there. There you go. <laughs> that was uh, Johnny's old room. Now you can go relax on that all you want. I know it's been a while since we decorated her room. It's so cute. I don't want to change it. Like, I like it. Yeah, so you need to get out of there. Come in here. I know you want to woohoo. I don't think she can woohoo with Buck, though, that since he's still, he hasn't, hasn't aged up yet. Well, they were trying, weren't they? Because he just went in there. Okay, no, no. Get out of here. This is so creepy, Buck. You're just creeping on her parents. Just get out. No, you guys. Don't make out right here. Oh, my God. Not weird at all. Not weird at all. <laughs> it's so weird. Do they have red bills? I don't know if they do or not. Uh, I don't see any. So, okay, she we have she has 41 days, so I think I need to reset her days. Aging, reset to max days. Jill. 42 days, okay, perfect. Edward will grow up in just one day. Well, good for you, Edward. See, he's going to grow up on his own. Okay, you two, get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you. Give them some privacy. My goodness. Now, these two are going to try for baby. We're going to have Jenny do it. Try for baby. No, I want to go through casual. Try for baby. Um. <laughs> no, what are you doing? Uh, casual try for What? Is she already pregnant? Hold on. Rel oh no, maybe you have to be relaxing. Maybe you have to be relaxing. Casual. Okay, yeah, you have to be relaxing. You have to be. I was like, why did that go away? Now let's make sure nobody else comes in here. Nah, she's not too old. She still has 11 days until she's an elder. So yeah, everybody's hanging out now in the living room. That's fine. These two are trying for baby in here. It's, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> So also I want to, before we end the stream, I want to uh, give Jill a different shirt to wear. So I'm gonna take her upstairs to her room and let's plan out, let's plan her everyday outfit, not you. 
uh, plan her everyday outfit so we can get her a different shirt because that one just it like cuts off it doesn't look right but I will remember that she likes the color gray so I'll try to give her something kind of gray and neutral party scores a good time yeah she's off birth control she's I already turned it off I already turned it off guys um, okay no get back get up here and we want to plan your outfit you want to plan your everyday outfit yeah, so she's just gonna live at home basically probably until she gets married if she chooses to get married or move in with buck wow they have a lot of clothes in their thing but you know what she needs let's see i did plan outfit didn't i i didn't do gussy up we just give her a tank top most of these are her mom's clothes like i don't feel like you would wear your mom's clothes so we're not gonna do that we're gonna do gussy up and we're gonna buy clothes. So she gets one, all my sins get one free outfit when they age up in case they're wearing something just like really stupid like she is with her shirt. Normally I try to let them wear what they like or what they age up in. I like interpret that as that's what they like to wear. Um, but if it's just something really stupid like an, like an untucked shirt with tucked pants or you know what I'm saying, I'll change it. And so she likes gray. I'll give her some kind of gray top. We can find something cute. That's cute, but I don't know if it would look good with the pants she's wearing. She likes the color gray. That's what she aged up in. So that's going to be her color. And what it's fall and about to be spring. So I also have to think about that. I really like this sweater. I think that might look cute on her for fall. Let's throw that in the cart. Let's throw that in the cart. Let's see what else we can find. I like these shirts too. I don't have a gray one though. I have no idea where that sweater's from, to be honest. Now that's cute. I like that. Let's throw that in the cart. I throw them in the cart as I go. No, that looks more gray. Hold on, these look more gray. And and then I go and look in the cart and see which one I like best. There's also like these sweaters. We'll throw that in. And yeah, oh yeah, that's a good point. Thank you, Max. I pin all my custom content on my Pinterest. So if you go look at adult female, you'll pro my adult female uh, board, it's probably on there somewhere. Yeah. I've pinned almost all my custom content on there, I think. Um, I think I'm going to, I think this is about it. Now this one, I like this one too. And I know this one looks good with those pants. I'm going to throw that in. Uh, thank you so much for the 100 bits, Light and Frost. Thank you so much. Oh, I see a save game from seven minutes ago. I'm so sorry, Simmergetic. And also, I haven't asked me anything that I didn't answer. Uh, I mentioned the idea of buying an older computer to play Sims 2. I've always thought about doing that before. What kind of computer would I need? Basically, if you get Windows 7, something with Windows 7 on it should be able to run it fine. Just make sure it has a, a graphics card in it, not just onboard graphics. Make sure it has some kind of graphics card in it and you should be fine. It doesn't need a lot to run The Sims 2. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna go with one of the shirts that I already picked. I think I like this one the best. No. Get rid of those, yes. And then she's gonna put that on. This is what Angela is wearing in my original Pleasant View, but different colors. But I think it looks cute together. No, I don't want to do all the rest of these right now. I don't want to do these. I just want to stop it, please. <laughs> just stop it. She's wearing a tank top in fall. Yes, she is. And she doesn't care. She doesn't care because she looks cute. She looks cute now. <laughs> so there it is there she there's her final form um i think she looks really cute and i think i'm just gonna keep her makeup like kind of just how it is 
She's wearing a tank top in fall, but if it gets cold outside, she'll put her coat on. So I'm not too worried about it. The party's over in 21 seconds. She looks like she grew melons. Well, she kind of did. She does look a lot like Jenny. Yeah, she really does. So these two are already in bed. <laughs> so I have to remember they tried for baby around like seven on Tuesday. I'm going to write that down. Write that down in your copy books now. Right now it says preggers. Try for baby um, Tuesday around like 7, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. ish. Okay. Well, I guess that's good. Well, I'm waiting for the party to be over in like seven minutes. She just kissed Buck. And Johnny's talking to him about getting, she's like, he's like, so when are you going to get engaged to my sister? <laughs> okay, this birthday party rocked. Great job. And she had a great party and it went really well. That was nice. That was nice. So let me save. I'll redeem that since somebody redeemed save. <laughs> Buck is so styling. I know. That was his outfit he chose. And I was like, you know what? Perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> Buck, I need to know that you're thinking about marriage. That's exactly what he said. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the stream here because I am hungry and I'm going to go get some pizza. <laughs> so thank you all so much for joining me. I love Strange Town Saturday. I love playing Strange Town. We will play this again next Saturday. So I hope you can come join me for that. And thank you guys so much for all the subs and bits and just everybody for coming to hang out. I really appreciate that. And uh, be on the lookout for new content coming to youtube next week and sometime next week i'm gonna be launching my new channel so i will keep you guys updated on that all right guys i will see you monday i will see you back here on twitch monday uh when we're gonna play nutley we're going back to nutley y'all <laughs> all right bye everybody have a great weekend see you soon bye